You don't listen. There's a reason why Bro, you got two ears and a mouth for a reason. Silly, fam. No, no, no. I said that. I know for a uh, fact that you was yeah. criticized. You got a self hate issue going on. I ain't got self hate issue. You do, you do. You no, do, you do. No, you do. Yo, look. I can do it like money made, glamorous ting. 12 round unanimous ting. Catch your fans on an analyst ting. That ain't KG and Travis's ting. That's undefeated, undisputed like Lennox. Do it on points, jab your head off. Who tried to say that AJ fell off? Must have never had Nigerian jello. Scandal Ali- people, welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters. Shouting it up. Bro, what's your tail of the tape? Come on, G. I'm O and O fam. Never fought, never lost, and I never will, fam. Even if a fight happens, see, I've got some more sauce on it. Even if a fight happens, if someone calls me out, unfortunately for them, I'll still win. That's how I feel right now. I've gone into this, I've gone into 20, because, like, we're in February now, mm. yeah? We're in mm. Feb, and even though we're in Feb, it's New Year, mm. yeah? Mm. I feel I've got that new power, fam. Whoever wants it, let's go. Hey, if you want to fight KG, get in the comments. Let's at him. go! At him. All right, cool. I'll just oh, put that man. out there. Hold on, wait. Come back, come back, come back. We don't need to go, actually. <laughs> yeah, because you know this mad people. Are, I thought about that, and you know it's, it's growing, isn't it? The bluff was growing. We've got, we got a big guest on, in it? So fighters. someone's going to watch this. A fighter's going to watch this because they've seen my man next to me and say, hold on. I, it's cool. I'll talk about your fights. G, what's your tail of the tape? I'm 2-0, oh, fam. 2-0? Oh? Yeah, one two. win by KO, 50% mm. knockout rate. Ooh. Half the men that entered the ring with me got knocked out, left the <laughs> ring on their back. <laughs> it was a madness. It was yeah. a madness, yeah. But listen. That was the last fight, it was two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, fam. <laughs> yeah, I remember because he came down, he'd, we'd done little pads and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spencer yeah, got yeah, me ready yeah, for that yeah, fight. Oh, did some pads and that. Yeah, Spencer yeah, got me ready. No, yeah, no, Travis, because... Yeah, Travis got some moves still. Don't play. Travis got some moves. You don't think I'm yeah, just I mean, talking? And, yeah. And not only that, but he done, he done some bits, he was doing some bits with Ben Dow as well. And Ben Dow is his naturally gifted. You know what I mean? That's what I'm it's, saying. There you go. So so maybe, just maybe, yeah. maybe, you don't even have to introduce me yet. Just maybe, just maybe, nobody should listen to you. Because you never mm. thought. No, 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 no. No, no, Spencer, maybe, I don't know. Wait, 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 how did right, we start here? Because I came, no, 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 listen, that's what do you I'm know saying. what? It's mad. When light skin people link up together, yeah, they just start acting crazy, fam. No, 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 I don't know what happened, fam. No, I'm getting to colorism, bro. CZ knows, fam. I wanted to go colorism. I had to go colorism. Let's stop for a second. No, man. No, no, you, not you. When you're saying that, this is nuts. Right, you say we're lying. So you let him, you see that man let us split us. Right, come on. You let him split us. He's divided us, Wait a minute, wait, wait, let me just, let me just, let me just say you this now, right? KG, I know for a fact, Talk to me. Because you were Nigerian. Come on. I wanted to be Jamaican. It's out there. Yeah, I know you, I know you. I wanted to be Jamaican, not anymore, though. No, 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 it's fashionable to be Nigerian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Afro beats is in. Right, exactly. What I'm trying to say is this. Go on. No, but furthermore, introduce me, man. I ain't got, I got time. We got I'll come Spencer back to Ferron, <laughs> a.k.a. The Knowledge, in the hot chair this week. Let's have a studio clap right no, now. No, 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 before we do studio clap. What's your tail of the tape, man? We all oh. tell it. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what was it? Um, 17, 17 and 6, uh, f- 5 KOs. Yeah. And yeah, that was my tail You fought, tape. fam. Let's give him a round of applause. Let's give him a round of applause. See, Spence, if you go too far, though, yeah, I'm going to call them six men that dealt with you, though. No, no, no. <laughs> no. See, see, no. no, stop, no, stop. Now, this is how I'm ready for you. Now, you've never laced up a pair of gloves, yeah? It's true. Right, this is what I'm trying to say to you. Talk the to day me. I will listen to you on boxing is the day you can demonstrate to me how to throw a left jab. When All you right. can do that, then maybe, just maybe, I will All say, right, I'm going to take you up. KG, I'm coming to your gym. Yeah, right. KG, I'm gonna maybe gym. I'll listen to you. I'm going to no, come no, to your gym. Maybe. I'm coming to your gym, fam. Maybe, bro, you get up. I'll come to the gym. Look at that. No, I'm coming to the gym. No, come to the gym. Yeah, Ruiz fought with this guy, fam. No, no, Ruiz fought with one of these, fam. Yeah, but Ruiz could fight, though. That's what I'm saying, but you don't know, fam. No, I do know. I'm coming to the gym. I actually do know. I actually do know. He's cool, man, now. I'm coming to the gym. Come to the gym. Bring the what? cameras. Wait, wait, one second. What's he coming to the gym for? Are what you being said? Real? What you said? Uh, what you want to do? To throw, to teach me how to throw. I wanna, I wanna be throwing mad hands. No, well, no, 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 stop, no, stop, no. Stop. No, you're not getting me like this. I know the tricks. They're not getting that content like that. I know the tricks. I'm coming to the gym, fam. And we're going to film that. I know these tricks. These tricks. I'm coming to the gym and we're going to film that, fam. You insecurity, you know that. No, because... I know when you are younger, everyone used to call you ugly. I know that. Yeah, yeah, I buzz. No, I know, I know. I want to my personality. I didn't say that. I want to my personality. I got things. But then what happens? I want to my personality. I know that things you used to get. I want to my personality. No, I know that you used to get it. You know what's man? Calm yourself. You should know what's going on. to this boy. My spirit said this, you know. Tell this boy. And I said to myself, I said, you know what? Hey. I gave myself a head talk before he came in. I said, Kev, don't do it. 
I said no, he's going to try and draw you out. I'm not <laughs> drawing you out. I'm not drawing you out. I'm just no, saying, no. listen, bro. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying to you. Hey, what I'm saying to you. And right? I'm going to be good. Let's have, right, as... Um, no, but I was butters and then I... No, like, no. I was, I did, you're saying, I said, no, I you bet you said, you was I called, bet you was ugly. I said, no. I, did you hear me say that? I said, I bet what you were called say? ugly. See, don't listen. There was a reason why Bruv, you got two ears and a mouth for a reason. No, no, no. I said that. I know for a fact that you was criticised. You got a self-hate issue going on. I ain't got self-hate issue. You do, you do. No, because I called butters. No, you do. Back in the day, I called butters. You do. You do, you have that. You have right. that. You got that. So let's go. Come on let's, with the show. Come hold on. on. No, 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 no. We got to go to the show. I'm about, no, no, no. We I'm telling you now that's we what you used to get. We got to go to Did this. you used to get a yes or no? See the people used to call Wait, me Did you used to get a yes or no? Hold on. Answer the question, man. No, Spencer, you're not going to come on no, the show and try come, to come on the hype. Come, bro. Come, bro. No, come, Because I'm listening. Now I'm going to tell me. Hold on, Spencer. Seriously. Okay, Spencer. You've got a lot of because issues going good. on right now. Wait, Spencer. Go I'm being be good. good. Go don't be good. Go be good. Don't be good. No, no, come out and be your real self. All right, cool. Be your real self. Don't do it, Spencer. Be your real self. I'm trying to be a good guy. Be your real self. Be your real self. Wait, wait, wait. He's drawing me out, you know. I'm not drawing you out nothing. You put me out of the list. I'm facts. Okay, so what are you saying? So back in the day, right, yeah. you were the one. You know, no, I tell you where. I tell you where wrong. When you said, "Oh, you see these light skin brothers yeah. from that." Listen, number one, let me tell you this now. You see, on the so wait, why did I do that? Even, Spence? even, even on, even on Spence, the. Spencer, why did I do that? Go back, because I didn't just call you out. Why did I do what? that? Why did I do because that? It, what? Because I spoke what did you say? About, because, what did I say? You Take said that me. I shouldn't be able to talk about boxing because I ain't from a jab. Have you thrown a jab? And I said, Ra, I come to your gym. No, but have you? Have you thrown a jab? I've thrown a jab on the streets, on the roads. Have you thrown a jab? I've thrown a jab on the roads. Does, have you thrown a jab? Yeah, on the roads. Can you do it right now? We've got cameras. Demonstrate to me how to throw a jab. I'm saying No, so they're not getting Demonstrate that to me. They're not getting that content Because you like that. can't do it. That's no, why. they're not getting that content like that. I come to your gym. Silence. No, no, I'll come to your gym, fam. Let's, so let's, he's, no, 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 no. We, it's too late. Back. We're here. We're on this street, fam. Oh, We're on this oh, ledge. So now, Spencer, let's go back. Let's go back. We're here, yeah? Because I didn't even know this was. Actually, do you know what? It's mad. My spirit sensed it. We're in February. This My is... spirit sensed it. I said, Spencer's coming in. Spencer looked at me. First thing Spencer said, why are you wearing a hat, bruv? I said, oh, that's different. That's tasty. So I kind of sensed it. No, as, a natural, you that. as a natural I comedian, I, I, I saw I'm... the question and I thought, he's there. No, I'm beat. I told myself. So I came in here and I said, do you know what? No matter what, this is a bad way to I'm going to be good. So Spencer, yeah, just because I said that there's going to be, I'm going to call the six man that bang you up, yeah? You felt offended and you called me ugly, fam. No, I didn't call you ugly. I said, I bet you you were called ugly. Not so what that does that ugly. mean? So where was no, you? I said, I where bet, was you, you know and where no, was the plane going to land after no, you said that? No, no, I'm saying I bet you was called ugly. And then what happens? Uh, okay, yeah. No, but I know that. So I know you got self-hate issues going on. No, right it can't now. be. No, no, so I just know it. I just know it. Because you were the one who oh, about this light skin thing. No, I had That's to bring that in. I just, I brought that in. So what you, oh, raw. do you have an issue with being light skin? No, I don't actually. So what's the problem? No, but you're used to man the same. You're used to man the same. Hold on, would you not mind thinking about Fury and Wilder coming up this next couple of weeks? <laughs> I hear that. No, because we're here. No, because this is we ain't started like this before. But obviously, I ain't got literally. I ain't got no problems with being a dark skin man. I love it to be honest. Let's let's and go. Let's let's go back to the beginning. No, 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 no. We're here. We can't pretend it. We can't just smooth over it because nah, people are going to listen to this innit so is what it is now nah, I'm very proud of being black and dark skin and Spencer if you want I'll take you up on your offer I'll come down to your gym and I'll throw all the combinations you want alright cool yeah cool we happy with that shake, shake let's go there you yeah. go hey, on camera on ca- and Wally set we- you're going to film that shit uh, two cameras this and then after, what are you going to say? We cut this down. No, it's <laughs> nice. No, no, I was teasing. No, we can chop it. I want you to no. leave this in. I was, I was ramping, Keep that in it. I was ramping with you, though. I know. Yeah, let's keep it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're brothers. No, because I ain't right, done everything in my comedy power. Not to come back at you, fam. Because you're my guest. This is how toxic masculine dudes greet each other and show love. Oh, my days. No, all right, cool. No, seriously. No, big up for thanks for coming. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do the clap again. Spencer, walk into our defeat. What people understand, Jay, yeah, is I actually room. talked to Spencer on the phone, you know, so he came with the chino thing still. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, bruv, welcome. Welcome to the show. Um, it's mad because I'm thinking about all the girls that call me butters, you know. You threw me off my pivot still. I know. You threw me off my pivot. So love, don't worry no, about but it. I worked on my personality, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah? All right, let's get <laughs> This is the spiciest I'm, I'm, I'm interview. I'm, I mean, I'm, Bro! I'm, I'm, I'm blessed I got both. Really. Yeah? Sure oh, you're mm-hmm. still good looking? Am I still good looking? I oh, don't don't draw me out. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's right, go. Right, go right. Right. You set the pace. All right, all right, all right. Stop, stop for a second. Stop for a second. You said, "Am I still good looking?" So he's trying to say that maybe once I was good looking. Because he said, "Are you still good looking?" Oh, you hear Spence, that? I'm this trying is my best. I don't man. care, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, oh, seriously, I don't care. I'm trying, man. 
I'm all right, cool. I'm trying. This you know what? Don't, don't try. <laughs> let's lay it out. It's cool, man. This, this, this is the maddest duel. All right. <laughs> now, nah, let's talk boxing. This is the Undefeated Podcast. We're here to talk boxing. Spencer, thanks, <laughs> thanks for coming down, man. This is... <laughs> you know, Spencer, Spencer's one of the men, you know. Spencer's what? Spencer can't stop no, the men no, thing. No, no. nah, He's one of the men, then, fam. Air, air, what is this? I'm going to tell you this now. <laughs> it's Tundi Ajayi that said, Spence, go do the show. Mm. I'm saying, nah, I don't like how you tried to, to diss Anti Yard. Where you're saying, boy, if Anti Yard, if, if Canelo um, knocks out oh, Kovalev. See? So, no, and I took offense to that because I'm saying, like, your first guest was it your first guest? Your first guest was Tundi, right? Mm. So I'm saying, Baba Tundi Ajay, I know Ali's he's, he's grafting in this. So I'm saying, like, off of that comment there, I'm saying, you shouldn't have the right to this. To, you know what I mean? To me, I found that, no, hold up. I always say. I found that very, very disrespectful. Me, I'm personally. glad. Now, I said that. I'm glad. Right. Finally, because now there's now we're making sense. Right. And let's talk. I found that. So I'm saying, no, I'm going to rib you a little piece when I come yeah. in there. Right? And it worked in the case of the energy. You know why it was? Because my mind was 101, 101 different mm. places. And like, my niece is getting married tomorrow as well. Don't so know. it's shout like, out, yeah, 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 shout out to my little niece. You're married, married like, Yeah, she's married. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless someone right. says something. In yeah, that exactly. Bit. <laughs> you know what it was there. You know what I mean? Speak now, forever <laughs> hold your... Yeah. No, but go on. I like, so, I like what you're so, saying still, because so, it's really so, important. So because of that, I'm saying, bruv, seriously, I'm seeing like loads of people trying to jump on this boxing thing and talking boxing. I ain't even boasting. About my knowledge at mm. all. I'm mm. not gonna have to, because even you guys will rib me about it, right? I'm not. I don't have to go and like talk. I'm saying, listen, on the 100, like I'm all about the solidarity. I'm not in no divisional thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not in no light skin, dark skin, no Willie Lynch nonsense. Oh, come I'm on, not you know into jokes. right. I, I know. Regardless, even in je- even in just those things, like, I've seen you. I remember you two went at each other on the the what was it. The Jamaica Africa, versus yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We and were, Travis brushed you, right? They didn't, they didn't, show the whole, they didn't see the whole thing. I was there, I was at the show. I was at the show. So you're saying so that, you, you did, did you, you see, my, you see yeah. my thing? I saw your thing. You see my performance? You did get, you got brushed, you got brushed. Did you see my performance though? What? No, your performance was strong, but the clash, the clash thing wasn't strong. That's what I'm saying. But you died on the clash. I got him on there, but I didn't, my performance was better. All right, don't worry. Yo, the performance, no, no, no. Calm down. We you tell yourself? What you getting all upset from? Calm down, man. You did, you, Travis, Travis, you brushed him. Anyway, come on, we ain't got Time, we're running out of time. We're, we're paying for the studio and the lights and everything else. It's cool. And I'm nah, saying, nah, 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 nah. Did you brush him? Yes or no? Did you brush him? Travis came in. Did you brush him? Did you win? Did you win the clash? There you did go. you win the clash? This is the additional oh, round. Yes won, or no? Yeah, did I won, you win I won, the clash? Okay, then. No right. more further questions. Right? Exactly. Right? Of course it was. You're now saying, yeah, bruv. You said that you came on the normal thing, yeah. But you're on some mad divisional thing right now. You no, already I'm told not, Travis, I'm yes. Not, I'm not, Bro, as a boxing thing. man, as a, a, a man of assessing, but I want to get back to the main point. Yeah. Because you spoke a good point just now and I liked it. You said you felt offended because we had, we had, I made an Anthony Yard comment. Yeah, I did. And our first guest was Tunde Ajay. Yeah. Yeah? Tunde Ajay, yeah? Right. And you felt, raw. he's come on the show, showed it love. How exactly. can I say something negative about his fighter? Is that correct? Or was it a case of something negative? It was like, boy, like, boy, if you don't bang him out, you know, boy, I'm saying, who the hell are you to be telling me why about not? boy? This, why um, not? Why not? Why I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying, who are you to say that why when not? you ain't fought? But why not? But you haven't fought. So people that watch football, they wait, no, 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 no I don't like that. It's trash. That's trash. It's my opinion. You don't have to like it. I'm allowed to have an opinion. And I totally Am agree I not allowed my opinion? One so when I'm when I say something, hello, hello. I can give an opinion on whoever and whoever. You, now, if whoever tunes in and says I'm going to validate his opinion and listen to it, that's up to them. Okay. But I'm saying that for me, I'm allowed to just give right, an opinion. Can I, can I talk now? Can Go to jump in. Do your thing. Now, this is my thing. Is this? Yeah. Somebody came in and showed you love. Yeah. And then after that. You see, like, you're looking on this game, like, it's not a game. People give their lives in this thing. People have died in the ring. I could name yeah. numerous guys who have died in the ring. Yeah. Guys who I know have died in mm-hmm. the ring, right? So I know when a man's taking something from scratch, he's getting a fight down. Tundi gets some mad fight down, you know? You know, you see in the comments what people want to say, oh, did the... he's not bothered about it, you know? He mm-hmm. don't care, right? So he's getting this mad fight, and he came and he showed you a lot of love. And how was the love reciprocated? Well, boy, you know, if Annie Yard don't blah, blah, blah. But I've been talking this way. But nothing's changed, bro. No, because... No, we're having a conversation. No, but it's good. All right, cool. I'll let you land. I'll let you land. I'll let you land. I'll let you land. So because of that, right, as far as I'm concerned, that's offensive because... You lot are here when you're talking about this non-divisional mm-hmm. and all of us together. And I'm saying then that within itself is divisional. 
So the negative energy, you said, well, you thought the spirits was telling you, the negative energies actually come from you, brother. Not from nobody else, because mm. a man came to you in love. He didn't come to you. He came to you with love. And I remember the fact, because even when he was there, he phoned me. I was in my house, and mm-hmm. he phoned me. And I was smoking. Because I said, Ralph, I've got love for both of you. Like, I see you mm-hmm. in the barbershop. Don't know why you're going no more. But I said, I see you like, boom. No, nah, it's not me trying to cuss. I'm telling you the truth, though. But I said, man, it's love. We're talking love. And I said, Ralph. But then after that, I'm saying, bro, you shouldn't have to go do that to try and get no extra likes or no, or no whatever reason. I don't know. Me, right. That's how I roll. That's how oh, I like, so think. If, so if, so if I'm down with you, so I'm down with you, that is it. But the thing is, like, right, so cool. let me speak here, because obviously I know KG and, you know, we work on this pod. I guarantee you that nothing is coming out in in a fake way to try and get likes. Like, right. there's no attempt. So you, then he's just bad minded. I'm a yard fan. So he's just bad minded. I've, I've been a yard so fan. Then, so that could be, no, rec- man, could no, we look at that? Right, you're bad minded. No, 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 I'm not no, saying that you are, but that's how it could be seen. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm the yard fan in this pod. You go back and look at this. I'm always on the yard fan, yeah? He's always, we've been going at each other on the Watsi thing. So I've never, like, it, uh, nothing has changed. So, so you know what? It's funny, funny, it's funny you say that. Changed nothing has changed. I Even when thingy, I told him, I said, even if I saw Yard today, I said, I've been chatting. I can't wait to meet Yard. I said, I've been chatting shit because this is how I feel. Do you see what I'm saying? Right, so if, even if, like, so I'm not going to, just because I know you, yeah, I'm not going to say, ah, oh, rah, I'm never going to, if I have opinion, I'm going to say it. Even if I know you, I'm gonna say my opinion. It's it's what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? If I think this, if you've done something and I think this, I'm gonna say something. Okay, but you know there's I mean? a second. But, so, but, but you're saying now that I shouldn't say nothing negative no, because no, no, he's not, blessed the thing. Bro, bro, he did, did not bless so the thing. Did he he not did bless the thing, and Absolutely. I was we were thankful. Okay. And we still so, got but no, but I, but no, now shit. what is what I'm hearing from what you're saying is not just you, but maybe even Tunde has feelings. But what's mad about this? No, Tunde ain't got feelings. Okay, okay. no, because you know how Tunde is. Tunde is you, just right. You lot instant block, remove out my life. Which that's how Tunde but is. But then this is if good. Right, this right, is but right. then this that's is what how, I'm that's saying. How, no, that's what, how Tunde is. What is what's interesting? Yeah, and I, I mean, this is this is taking a turn. I didn't expect it to go this way. Yeah, is. When we had the um, Tunde on, he was our first guest. It was amazing. Do you see what I'm saying? I felt the same and I said what I was saying, yeah? I now watched him. Um, we've now gone back in time. Canelo's for... Because um, we're for this give, to give people um, more, like, insight. Mm. Canelo's for Kovalev, yeah? And Canelo's come up in weight, yeah? And Canelo, obviously, he's looked at what he's seen in it. This is what I said. Canelo's looked at what he's seen in the yard fight and he said, Raw, I can handle that work. He's looked at Kovalev and said, "Rob, I got it. I can do it." Yeah, and I said, "Is that not a is that not a slight or is that raw? How how do you now look at Yard in that?" Bruv. I'm allowed to ask that question. Bruv. I'm allowed not, to ask that question. I know you're not. Yeah, you can do whatever. You I cannot, sure. but I'm allowed but to ask that not, question. It's not. It's not. So where's the where's not, the offense? Oh, okay, one second. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. But that's how I talk, though. That's, that's, but no, I talk with passion. No, 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 no. no. You're, talk, you're, very, you're, so, you're very calm now. You're very... No, because, no, because I have to get my right. thoughts across because okay. my thing is, obviously, we can... Because right now, it's like a combative kind of thing, it's isn't it? It's not, bro. No, but I'm There's saying, no right... No, com- because you said stuff. You said I'm stuff. Gonna, and I'm, I'm saying stuff back to bro, you. Bro, so right now, bro. it's kind of... It's almost it's almost combative and I don't want to come across and not say that... I don't want to say the wrong thing. Maybe it's for you it's combative. It's not... Well, this is what it is. I'm telling you how I feel. I'm telling you that you come on there. It's not. No, you come on. You come on that on the energy, rules, it's not and I've matched you know? your energy. No, you haven't. I have. No, you haven't. You just do, you're you just that. boxing different. The, Remember no, your boxer. No, no, really, I'm you're not boxing bro, different. Bro, bro, I'm not boxing different at all. But you know what I mean. I'm just telling you now how yeah. it is. So I'm just laying it down. So why, how it is. But you were offended. Was it, why was it offensive that he has that opinion? No, it was, bro. You, it wasn't the case of that. It was like it was seen as a mock. So therefore, I'm saying, bro. You shouldn't be mocking no one. It came across as a mock. And you can say, well, that's your character. And blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying, bruv, me personally, mm-hmm. you invite me to your house and I come and I eat at your house and you treat me, you give me a good time at your house. And blah, blah, blah. It's not for me to come out there and say, you know what? That Travis, you know, because I know you're with your missus and that. He's missus, you know. Boy, that rice and peas weren't too strong, you know. And, blah, 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 blah. and I'm, on, I'm saying it on a public platform. Then I'm saying we can take offense to that. Now, you, this is why I'm saying that you don't know, because you don't know fighters, fighter, fighter trainer relationships, especially fighter trainer relationships like that. That is a very, very strong bond. So mm-hmm. when I see those kind of things, I'm saying those who know better should do better. You, I believe that you're a very intelligent man. Okay. I remember when you first done your, that sketch on, on YouTube and it got something like five million views and that. You mm-hmm. ain't no dummy. So mm-hmm. I'm saying, bruv, that 
flip that a little piece. That's all I'm saying to you. So let's it's talk- nothing. I'm speaking. Listen, so I'm let's... speaking. I'm, I'm speaking out of love, you know. I'm not speaking no animosity or da, 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 da. I'm speaking out of love. You you can you could take it, pick it up, or leave it alone. She no, I... so let's talk about so so like in terms of like politics in boxing, in terms of because uh, do you, are there are there opinions that you would have of a fighter that you wouldn't ever you reveal go. publicly because of the relationship when it could still one, be fact? No, one, just one, as one, a question. One hundred percent. And I won't because, do that because because I know like on certain things it's your business. I'm saying like there are certain things where I've been in this game. I've been I've been inside of boxing since so I've been fighting. So, so you're a fighter and now you're right. right. So wait, that, so wait, there. So I boxed, managed, promoted, trained. I think I'm I think I'm kind of certified in having an opinion on this mm. because I've gone through the facets mm. and also I've been I've gone through the facets of a man of color. Well, there ain't many of us doing that. So when I see a man who's trying to go do this thing, I'm just looking at the, 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 the what's it? There's an unseen bias, you know what I mean? Or unspoken about bias. So when I see men trying to do things, especially when I know, when I know the trial and tribulation that you are going through, I'm saying like, yo, I'm going to be less inclined to say I'm going to gun you. I'm going to be less inclined to try and run a joke on you because I know the seriousness of this sport. Now, you're saying, well, you've always been a Joshua Bertzi man. Joshua Bertzi, my, my bony fight. In matter mm-hmm. of fact, Joshua Bertzi, just, just for, as I was there, it was, me, it was Joshua Bertzi I was talking to in the thing. He's my bony fight. I love that you, you know. I've got bare love for him. He's a good you, right? Now people say, oh, well, Yard and Bertzi. I'm saying, they're both my, they're both my guys. Mm. Make it even worse. I got turned into boxing. So who, and he's, I think he said this on the show. So who am I to... D- discredit a man because I know how difficult it is. Do you know how hard it is to go train a fight to get into the top 10 of the world and to happen for a world and go and fight for a world title? Here's a man, they, they've done this by themselves. So that's my argument on the whole thing. So I'm backing those kind of guys. So I'm saying, if you're my bony fight, I'm totally been my bony fight way before we was into boxing. We used to do role yeah. things together and everything else. So therefore, I'm backing them, man. It got nothing against you. I ain't got nothing against you. Say so you feel it. No, I'm actually tired. No, no, so no. you can say I'll you're be, feeling, no, whatever I'll, you're feeling, you're feeling. That's your look, business. I got, look, I got nothing but respect it. for what you that's guys it. are trying to put together. Number one, okay. but what I'm trying to say is like, on the rules, you guys are my puppies. You want to see it and say, no, you're not. You are my puppies. Let's be real. All right, cool. So therefore, so they, see, you hear, you hear no, the No, I said again? no. I'm, yeah, but you hear no, the ignorance. I heard oh, yeah, the, all, all right, right cool. no. No, I, but listen. So you're I, not my puppies? Tell me you're not my, you're not my juniors. You're my juniors, brother. Uh, wait, do, do, wait, 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 you said a lot of things. So I need to... There's right, got to you're be... Not, you're not my... Well, you're my no, wait. And, no, 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 no. That's not what we're saying. We're having a enough, conversation, Spencer. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had enough. Come on, please continue. Was, was, it, was it a monologue thing? Continue. thing or, no, no, we're having no, a conversation, bro. No, no, no. It's a, yeah, it's a monologue thing now. Come on, seriously. No, so when I talk, Spence, this is my thing. I'm trying... The funny thing is, yeah, I'm actually trying... How you doing today, sir? Do you all right, son? Is everything all right? I'm chilling, man. Is everything all right now? Is everything all right? Come on, I'm chilling. Is everything all right? It's a mad episode. It's a maddest episode, fam. But I, I, I felt no, it. No, no, no. Let's talk. This is an interesting conversation. So this wait, is an interesting convo. Let me, let me go in. Yeah. This is an interesting conversation. No, wait, hold on. I want to let, let's try and break right. this down. Let's cool, try cool, and break cool. this down because I think that's interesting. Yeah. Now the relationships. When you, you talk about relationships and you're seeing the the journey of these men. Yeah. There's one thing I can tell you that obviously from a comedian coming in from this thing, I'm not privy to that. I don't know the relationships. I don't know this and I don't know that. Yeah? So from your way, your thing is a, your official. No one needs to tell you. You know, you call yourself the knowledge, fam. I so know, you know Coogan Cassius gave me that name. No, I want to clear not. that again. Coogan Cassius. This guy's gone around the whole world. Like, one of his first ever interviews with me when he first started. Coogan Cassius gave me that name. I want to tell people that. And he was like, rah, the knowledge, the knowledge. Him and James Helder. James Helder's mm-hmm. no longer doing IFL. But... Them two gave me that name, right? You're the knowledge, you know, because no one can't test you on this. But you thing, live up to it, right? which is which oh, is how it well, stays. Well, well, you, you know, know what? what? You know what? That's impressive. Still. You know what? I, no, here what I'm trying to say is this, right? Mm-hmm. No matter on those kind of things, or like when people say, "Oh, but yeah, you're the knowledge," and rah, 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 and all the rest of it, mm. right? They're not telling me like people inside the game. I'm talking like the top trainers. When they want their facts and stats, it's me they phone. Now mm. I don't want to go call a Farouz name or blah, but I remember I know everyone in this kind of I know everybody in the game. Mm. They all they all come to me and they say, What is it? Have you got kind of like a, a photographic memory or that? I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? And like no one in public I've never really spoken about. You know what I mean? I suffer from autism. Yeah. Right? So as I do, so there's certain things that I can see where other people can't see. But there's certain things that I go do off key that will just pee off my wife on another level and my wife's gonna be bare rich. Right, yeah, she be like, I don't really care, because you know what? Because mm-hmm. I'm doing all right. God's blessing me. That's what I know that God's mm-hmm. blessing me. Mm. So because of those things, I just see things a little bit different to how it is. So I keep on saying to people that loyalty makes you royalty. 
Do you know what I mean? So if I'm Say that if one I'm more time. loyalty makes you royalty. You okay. know what I mean? So I'm loyal to, to my guys who I know I don't have to be there and I know they got my back. And that's where and, the and, issue and, is. And, right. And, and, and that's to where me, it was. That's where it the issue is. Seriously, because I'm saying, rah, but KG's cool, you know, and I was looking at him, I was saying, boy, that's a bit smarmy, you know. So if I'm around him, I've got to just do with that. But you know what? So, all right. that, that so, so there's little, two but things. We're going too but long no, no, to no, run out of time we now. Spent, we spent, no, no, because I will say this. I will say this, yeah? Because I like to, I consider myself as a real guy. Honestly, I, you might not see that, boy, no, but no, 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 I cool. do, yeah? So there's two ways how this could have gone, because I've spoken to you on the phone, yeah? If there was, if I had an issue with you, I would have said, Ra, I would have called you said, I didn't like that. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why I respect it. If you're, if if I'm your puppy, yeah, I would say, right, you hit me up and say, Pop, da, da, da. yo, I didn't like that. Um, try when you're doing these things. You can't really, because this man's showing you love rare, rare. Because I didn't see it as that. Okay. I didn't, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't got no problem with um, with um, Tunde. with Tunde. Or Yard, because I, I've not changed the way I speak. I've been speaking like this since episode one till now. I ain't changed. So if only, is it, unless... 37 now. Yeah, on... 30. From one oh, to five. thirty-seven. And I'm doing up your things still. Yeah. Oh, well, this, this, this is it. This is it. I, Even I'm, when I wait a minute, am I not the first person to always like your stuff when it comes out? One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I always, I, I, I put them on my on time. Come support me. One hundred percent. And, and and my thing is, I'm always because remember you're saying. But it's because Travis is light skinned. You that's ain't. Right. No, nah, come on. Man. No, no. Stay let's, on get things. Let's, get Stay on <laughs> let's get faster. Let's get The journey is is like remember there's stuff that we're learning on the fly. Yeah. So for instance, my Lennox takes. Yeah. Mm. Before, with no information, these are my takes. That's my opinion. Sat down with Lennox, my opinion will somewhat change. And if there's a, if I feel raw, you know what? Actually, there's an apology needed there. I'll apologise. I might just stay too high to say something and say, raw, I didn't know that. I was wrong about that. But then, okay. so you've come in now with a point of view that I'll listen to and I'll take. And that's why I say, when I was talking calmly, is because I'm trying to learn. So when you're saying raw, I'm thinking, wait, hold on. You've come with an energy. I'm trying to understand and not say something stupid because you've got a point and I need to compute and understand that and understand and just make a decision either now or later if you're right or wrong. Do you see what I'm saying? That's how I take in stuff. So I like, that's, that's the honest truth is, is that I'm willing to learn and I can apologize when times in need to apologize for things. What you said, very interesting. I'm going to go home. I'm going to decipher that and decide where I fall on the line. But I think that I will never say that I'm the kind of person that will just speak for likes because I'm just myself. I ain't, that's the next level of cleverness that I ain't got. I just keep it. This is me. You are, you like what you get. You see what I'm saying? And if you don't know that, I'm sorry to you. What do you have, to, you have anything to say or should we just keep it moving? What was that, an apology? You no, because I can't apologise because I need to break it so down and I understand. That's a contradiction. I'm no, because I told you. you what I'm going to do. I'm saying I'm going to take that's, my time. That's the acknowledgement. I said I'm oh, going to oh. take my time okay. and what do you call it? And understand because right now we're in a conversation and still, I don't know, how you obviously you said that how you understand things, how you see things, you work a certain way. I work this way. Do you know what I mean? And if I'm wrong, I'll be like, yo, bro, I was wrong on that one, you know. But it's it, so, in the heat, I, know, I don't know. You mentioned that, you know, Tunde might have taken it a certain way. Did Tunde take that away? You're going to have to discuss that with Tunde. It's not a case like, did he take it a certain way? It's just like, like I said already, if someone comes and shows you guys love, you got to think, any yard box for millions the other day, Tunde manages and trains him, so I know Tunde would have earned a big chunk as well. He's come out of his way to show you lot love, so I just think the same love that he showed you should have been reciprocated. That but that, but that, but we're going around it's, in circles. Yeah, it's you're gonna be there, and, you and, I mean? and that's it. That's what I'm saying to you. Anybody show, I don't care who you are. I don't care your, your skin tone, your sexual preference. Anyone show me love. This is all the thing. Is like, you show and me should respect. never have an opinion. Right, right. You show me, show me, show me love. Show me, show me love, and I'm going to reciprocate. It's and you should never have an honest opinion about no, the person no, saying, after they show you, you love. You're saying it's an honest opinion to yourself. They're saying you roll with that. That's honest to you. I'm not knocking you for you being honest to yourself. You be honest to yourself. But what I'm saying to you, I'm showing you where there's a line within it that people can take offence from it. Yeah, and that's, so, I'm, and that's right. what I'm so hearing you're gonna, now. Whether you take it on board, you take it on board, whether you'll sit down and say, right, maybe he's right, then whatever. And I know like you're thinking, oh, well, the energy weren't that. It's because I've got a bag of things that I was doing inside there. But you take it how you want to take it. It's no animosity towards you. Or no, I'm not, saying there's an, I'm not saying that animosity. Listen, I'm not saying that animosity. I've got, I've, got, I've got nothing but respect and love for you two, man, who are trying your thing on this thing. Yeah. That is it. And like you're not even trying, you're doing, and that's that's why I mean. And then I'm I'm seeing like the casting, the guys who are around you, yeah. and I'll give you nothing but props. 
But yeah, we can go on and finish up All the right, rest cool. of the show. Let's, let's oh. check. Yeah. Yeah, we, that was an interesting I ain't gonna lie that was an interesting start still I don't know how many minutes we've gone into we started on a ledge alright cool Can't let's just yeah, talk about you can chop out a lot of that don't worry no we can no, 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 no let that it's shit run there. fam all stay let that shit run the great right. fears will love it <laughs> but let's talk boxing go right let's, let's, let's go straight back to your boxing days because obviously nowadays you know if you're watching boxing we'll know Spencer you know talking about boxing punditry and all the different things but you were a fighter so like mm-hmm. what tell us about how you got into boxing um, from a young age, oh man, look at this, it's crazy, man. <laughs> that's a little clues for me there, you know, that's how bad that's, oh, that's, that's our guy, bro. That's, that's how okay. Well, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, um, that's the energy, isn't it? Like, yeah, man. He said, yeah, you're with that big black one, isn't it? And anyway, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but I say like, <laughs> but he can feel it, he can feel it, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I forgot the question now. Sorry, bro. How Sorry. did you get into boxing, bro? How did I get into boxing? Um, what was it? Mm, I watched... I watched Muhammad Ali versus... Um, Leon Spinks. The, 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 the rematch fight that mm. they had in New Orleans. And I was, what? What was I? Two and a half, three years old. Three, and I just can remember watching it. That's my earliest memory of boxing. It's mad, isn't it? That's one of the earliest. That was 1978. That was my, that was my earliest memory of boxing. I was four. Wow. And then from then, it was like... Because I remember going to school and everyone was talking about it. Like, what an accomplishment was. Because at the time, like, um, Ali was 36 years old. Oh, like, like, mm, it was, a, it was mm. a big thing. And, like, he mm-hmm. had a long, drawn-out career. And, th- and it was like... From then, I just wanted to box. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just wanted to box. And yeah, who was the person that was? Did someone bring you to the gym? Who it's, was that? That person they, they, that was the. You know, it was there were kids around my area that used to box, and they also because I'm from Kenton originally, so mm. all them kids used to go Fitzroy Lodge, and I was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Fitzroy Lodge, and all these kids used to be boxing, but my parents were never gonna allow me to do boxing. My dad, no, you mash up your brain, you see what I'm to clear, you mash up, you can. That's how my dad was. You can't do that. You're joking. You know what mm, I mean? Mm. You go to school and learn book and be a doctor. Right, so... And my mum, anything my mum... My dad would say, my mum be like, no, no, Old no, but, but my mum... I don't yeah, think proper, my mum's... My mum's vicious, though, you know? Mm. My mum was fights. Mm-hmm. She don't play. You know what I mean? The stories of my mum, knockout man in Jamaica. And all that. My mum... Okay. My mum was... My mum was rude. Yeah, yeah. So my mum was like, oh, but if he wants to... And then they were saying I was kind of like a little bit timid. And I remember my mum went out and bought me a, an incredible Hulk blow up punching bag which she had to put water at the bottom. Mm. And then from then it was like, oh, I've got, I've got to do this. But the and one that you're punching, it just comes yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, come back, yeah, 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 back yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So I just, I just mad, just wanted to box, man. Mm. Just crazy, I just wanted to box. But what, it was not only that, I used to pick up loads and loads of like magazines because when I was young, I used to do a paper round, like really young, I used to do a paper round. And like, I used to pick up these magazines that I just wanted to, I'll just keep on reading boxing mags. Boxing max, and then finally, um, Bricks and Recreation Center opened up, and they had a boxing program going on there. So I went down there, and it's like everyone was like, "Ah, oh, um, for someone who's never boxed, he's like, you just get it because I could just pick up things really quickly." But in hindsight, now looking back, then I was more than likely more a gym fighter than than a professional fighter because I could handle most people in the gym and that's not me boasting most men will turn around and say right and there's names I ain't going to call their names yeah, but yeah, most yeah. of the guys that I've sparred sparred loads of really really good fighters just sparred so, a lot with Howard Eastman sparred a lot with Rinky Wright and I I, I, I could do good do you with reckon, these guys so you say you was more of a gym fighter yeah, than, than a pro fighter so that's like do you reckon that's to do with confidence issues because you I, know what I, I, I relate to that a little bit what is this this is like Fighters fight for, for fighters fight for loads of reasons, right? So a lot of fighters will fight because you know financial gains. They like the pats on the back and they like the fame. I'm not like within the within the hood of where I grew up. I was oh you want anything right? You want a video? Come to Spencer. You want a car stereo? Go to Spencer. You want anything? I was that guy. Yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was that guy. So yeah, yeah. because I was that guy, maybe the passion. For it wasn't wasn't that because like there's loads of guys you go check it out you go look at all these great fighters and all the rest of it go look at them they all had 
certain issues that they had to overcome to get to where they was getting to. Mm. You gotta look at the, the real great ones. So would you say you wasn't struggling. like broke enough? You weren't struggling yeah, enough? I, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% real with you because mm. everyone knew I was that guy. I was earning, I was earning good. Before boxing. Before I, was boxing. Earning, I was earning good. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I had things on lock. You know what I mean? Mm. I, remember, I, would have, I bought my first house when I was 18 years, no, 19 years old. So, Jeez. right? So I've been... <laughs> you got to do a studio. <laughs> yeah. Crap, yeah, crap, right? yeah, that's nuts. Wait. Right? So, and I was, i just been very, I've been very, Not to very cut fortunate. you, Spencer, not to cut you, but for, for that mindset, yeah, where does that come from? Because 19-year-old youngsters ain't just getting out there buying houses. Yeah. So you know who I'm was the real, person that real. directed you I'm and put be, you on that? Yeah, I'm going to be real. There was a guy called Earl Fremantle, and we are close buddies up to this day. Wow. Right? And he was like one of the elders, but he was the guy that had the big whip. He was a guy that, mm. he wasn't really a jewelry person, but he was mm. a, he was that guy. So me looking at him, I was saying, right, how, how, how'd you get these kind of, how did you get, how'd you get these? And he's like, yeah, you go buy this house, you can go do it up. Blah, 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 blah. So he was that guy. So I'm that person that I was like, right, I'm going to follow your footsteps a little piece. So I, he had me like as his, as his little as his little junior. Then I had other guys in my vicinity, guys, you know I mean like a guy like Michael Cross, he he just had things on lock. So he had businesses, he buying up businesses from this is from me at a young age. I'm seeing these guys do this. Mm. And like then like and then certain money man, because I was boxing, these guys were like, right, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with your money through boxing. Or, I'm gonna show you to do this, I'm gonna show you to and man's showing me things, but they were doing it because like I weren't on road, I weren't shot in, I weren't, I went up to London in foolishness, but I just knew how to, I was that link, guys. And, I, and I, right, I moved different and I just knew everyone. Mm. It's just like when 20 kids were going about black boy, I just, I just know, I know everybody. Mm. So because of that, it was like, you're boxing and you're thinking to yourself like, yeah, man, you're boxing. But even from when we was amateurs, you know what I mean? First gym that uh, I went to was Brixton District, which was at the Herne Hill the, the the half moon pub it was there okay. yeah mm. and and like me and Danny I was walking into the gym I didn't know then I was like what well, I was eleven years old I didn't know how to get into the gym I'm looking for the gym I see Danny Williams big Danny Williams standing up there so and he's always been big and like I'm looking at him because I want to get into the, to the gym yeah right and now I'm saying like I'm kind of ashamed because then because I was making dough but I used to have a, a butterfly knife. Do you remember the butterfly knife? Mm. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I, used to have, yeah. I don't know why, because I've never ever used it. But, you know, no, but this is, right. <laughs> yeah. Right, but with them times, you go buy them. It's 15 pounds down the Carnaby Street. You can buy them <laughs> down there. And then they sell you, oh, right. yes, yeah, sell it. Yeah, you can sell yeah, it to you, right? Yeah. Well, that's 15 years, boy. That's mad. <laughs> 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 it's not 15 years, boy. You can buy my way in there. It's right. enchantment, fam. Right, yeah, but it's, it's, it's mad. So, like, he's looking at me, he's looking at me, I'm like, I'm saying, what's this guy screwing me for? You know what I mean? So I'm screaming. I was just trying to find a gym. Mm. And then it's like, someone walked in, oh, you're looking for the gym, mate? It's up there. And then we went in. So me and him just kept on, we're going throughout the whole session. Me and Danny screwing each other like, oh, you idiot. Right? And then it was like, we got paired together to do our circuits together. And then from then, we were just mates. Mm, right? So it's, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. wow. Right? It's, it, is, it is very crazy. But when you go through that, or it's like, when you've got like elders who are doing well, I'm a person that, I'm very, very vicarious. Like, if I see you with a big boy watch on, yeah. In my mind, because I know you, that's actually mine. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, when I see you, right, right, you lot's doing your show now and all the rest of it, I'm saying to yourself, right, that's actually my show. Reason why, because I'm vicarious, because I live through other people. I live through other people's successes. You know what I mean? But I also know this fact of having empathy when people things go wrong for people. Mm. I'm the I'm the biggest guy for empathy, because I'm turning around and saying, right, because I actually, my mindset, well, that's when I crazy, see people Because like, I work with autistic, I, I work with kids with autism and stuff right, like you that. You couldn't and see it yourself. Oh, Spencer must have a little bit on it. No, but I'm talking, it's that thing of the empathy part. It's the, so some kids that I work with, and let me not just throw this out like it's a mad st fact fact, but then it's the not being aware and not knowing. So you're probably falling on the other side of the... the spectrum. On the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. really like interesting. Anything you tell me, I'll remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, mm -hmm. you tell me something, like, how do you all of this kind of stuff. How right. do you remember? Like, how do you remember all them fight dates? Oh, mm. And you know them little stupid little pagans on. on oh no, nah, no. Nah. What happens is it's all rehearsed. So you memorize it, and he comes up. Oh, no, you little nah, bitches. You know, you, right? you know it. You know you know so the shit. your comments right. when you get onto the Instagram when we're having our debates, bruv, your comments start with in 1962. Right, right. This week. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'll tell you why. Right. I'm hearing you're, no, no reason why. Because yeah, yeah. this is the thing. I'm hearing you not talk. You're talking the game. And it's weird now because I'm getting old now. I'm not a little baby. I'm 45 now. You know what I mean? Mm. So like, 
That's not even old, bro. Yeah, no, but I'm getting like, I hate considered. You. I hate you. I hate so, you. like, you know what I mean? So, it's like when I hear guys talking, like you guys, yeah. you're, you're talking things, and on certain things, I'm correcting you because I'm saying, right, I want you lot to be. Because I understand, because I understand that there's enough youths, and I get this every day, I get stopped every single day. By real youths who are saying, you know what, you're the guy, you know. I just listen to you are the guy. And I'm, si- I'm sitting there saying, right, that's kind of like a, a pleasure because when I was a youth and I was a kid and I used to see Colin Hart, I'd be gassed uh, to see Colin, Colin Hart, Hart. Yeah, right? Yeah. Now, check this one out now. Colin Hart, Freddie Burkham, who used to be the, the, the chief editor of, uh, uh, sporting editor of the, of the News of the World, right? These guys are coming to me to draw out the thing now. You know what I mean? Or they say, well, how this is that's mad, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, these guys yeah, come to yeah, me. Yeah. So when when I reason with these guys, now I'm just saying like that on the case of like nine this 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 uh nine boxing, when I mean like I study boxing, I study boxing. If I'm not like you can follow me, if I'm not driving my car, I guarantee you, mm. if I'm in my house, even when I'm playing with my kids, I have my kids on my lap, they're watching what's this blinking new thing that my that my kids frozen to. For all the songs yeah, yeah, they're on YouTube, yes. so every minute, oh man, this is why, yeah, yeah, it's why them out. I don't want to, I don't want to mash up just the singing in the songs now because Disney will sue you, right? But <laughs> into the unknown, fam, into the unknown. Right, you yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know. Where you got kids? You got kids? Go, go, go. You see, you see how you're blessed. You got a little girl. Oh, you see, you look that ugly. Right, I'm trying to say to you, and I know for a fact that you. He called me ugly again, you know. I said, I'm fine, bro. I said, I know you're not ugly because I know, I know you. Listen, listen. I know you got, I know you got a little girl. I want to my personality, fam. Right. <laughs> personality is lit. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And I know, you, I know your daughter's, be- I know your daughter's beautiful. Because she looks like her mum. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, so what I'm trying to say... Come on, man. Come on, man. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Maybe I've lost my train of thought now, man. No, oh, I'm just like no, I said, it's just, a, it's just a, to me, it's just, that's just the blessing. No, you know you're mean? talking so, about... Because obviously, like, you know, just looking back at your boxing, like your professional record, you, you didn't have that many fights. So was it a thing where you got to a point where you just kind of like, I actually don't need to do this to be Yeah, successful. what was the reason what that you... Let me, let me tell you, you, you I just up? could be 100 and, and loads of guys could back up because like, and that's why they could be all hating today because they're saying, oh, but, but I accomplished way more than Spencer and now comes he's the guy that is the... Huh? You <laughs> yeah, think I don't yeah, get yeah. that? You of think, course. you really think I don't get that? Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't stop me because I'm telling I know I'm working with the powers. It's some different kind of juju I'm working with. I'm working with a real juju. Say Hus. I'm re- <laughs> nah, nah. This is what I'm trying to say <laughs> to you. Do. Listen to me. I'm working with a real thing. The real thing is that I'm working with the, the god, the real god of the planet or the universe, yeah. the creator of the universe. That's so when we're talking about this magic, I'm saying, wait a minute. So do you really think that God created uh, created someone to rival him? This is the thing. There's only one universal law, and I live by that universal law. So I try to do unto others that I want done unto myself. Mm-hmm. And I spread love wherever. And if I can help anyone, I'm gonna help you because I know universal law. What goes around comes around. People use it in a bad. Oh yeah. You know they're old people like your grandma. Yes, you see that bitch? Watch what's that gonna happen to him? No, it's not like that. Nah, if my grandma you... swore, I'd be so surprised. No, but you know, but you know what I'm saying, right? Right? <laughs> but I understand, right? But I understand yeah, universal yeah. law. So yeah. universal law is what goes around, you reap what you sow. It's as simple as that, man. Mm. So whatever you sow, that's what's coming back for you. Mm. So so yeah, back to back to my, my question about like when you wrapped up boxing, like you got to yeah. the end of your, what, what made you say, all right, this I, is I, it. I, I'm good here. I know I'm going to be good elsewhere. Because boxers was sometimes there a fight, certain right, moment check, in a fight. Right, or? Check, 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 check this one out, yeah. Um, yeah what was it? July, July two, 2003, me and Dave Walker, we fought the BBC fight of the year, right? right? I worked with Tundi for that fight. I was working with Alan Booth. As your trainer? Yeah, I brought okay. Tundi in. Oh, that, that's that's oh, why he tells okay. you. I brought Tundi into boxing, straight down. Okay. Right? So I know Tundi from road days. We used to do things on the road. Tundi mm. was the guy on roads, you know? Don't mm-hmm. get twisted. He was the guy. He had the link. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So then Tundi now goes, he starts training. He was training like Julian McDonald, this amateur fighter and, and all the rest of it. And I'm really about, right, if I'm around you, I want you to win. Mm. So he comes like, yeah, I'm doing a bit. So I said, come on, let me come lick some pads with you. So he said, well, really, you come down. Meaning, went, I went down to the, I went down to the gym where he was at the Muscle Works. The Muscle Works, one of them weight training gyms mm. down, down in Peckham. So I went down there. It was in the corner. And like, maybe I was licking pads, but we just jumped. I said, you know what, I'm gonna bring you in, you know, because I got couple, I got couple title fights coming up. So, boom, come, come work the corner with me. He said, "Bro, but you're working at Adam Booth." I said, "Boy, come down." So I bring him down to. I was at Adam Booth was at third space, right? Yeah, David A down there, um, Dion Juma's trainer. Um, now Gary Logan's my yeah. bony fight. Me and Gary are so close, and we go down there, and he watched Tundi lick pads. And you got to remember, this is 
17 years ago, oh. right? I said, yeah, I said to Adam, yeah, I want Tundi working with us as well. And he sees Tundi lick pads. And I'm going to be real, I saw the fear in Adam Booth's face when he saw the pad combinations oh. going on. And that's factual. And like, no, the people are talking, that's not me gunning Adam Booth, I'm just telling no, you. Like, just... Adam, Adam, Booth's, Adam Booth has done fantastically well from boxing, I have to mm. props him. You know what mm. I mean? He's done yeah. really, really good for out of the game. But he saw, he World saw, champion. like, he saw, yeah, he saw the work going on. And he was like, hmm. And then fought Dave Walker. You know what I mean? Classic fight. I came second best. And then, but I knew it weren't there. But I was having like mini explosions in my head. Oh. So there's certain times like one of my mates, is, my mate Michael Cross, I love calling his name, but he's got like some penthouse. So I'm going up to his house. So I'm in the lift and I come out, goes, the lift goes up to his phone. I walk into his door just after that fight. And I like, I was just a, in my head. I'm like, what? Then I'm getting again. I said, what's going on here? So every time I shut my eyes, I get like, these flashes. Mm, mm. I'm saying, uh, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to call it a day in this game. And one more fight after that, I come and I, I lost that fight against Gilbert Eastman, who's my bony fight. And I said, boy, I'm done. And I remember walking out of walking out of walking out of the 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 arena. I was with my I was with my ex miss at the time. And I said, you know what? I'm done with this. You know, mm. and like. My stepson, he was still my stepson, so big up, you know, he was like, I don't like seeing this, you know. You know what I mean? I like when he's winning that, but I don't like seeing this. Mm. And like, he was what? At that time, there, he must have been 12, 13. Yeah. I said, I said, You're still a hero to him as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, said, I said, you know what? I'm done with this. But it was easy for me to say I'm done with it. At the time then, you know what I mean? I had a 40,000 pound car. Mm. I had a boom four bedroom house in, in Essex. Mm. I said, well, what? Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And imagine this, in that fight, I made more money through sponsorship, yeah? Danny Mardell, God rest his soul, yeah? He's my, he my sponsor. He used to own Ryko Boss, yeah? That used to do fax machines, the typewriters, oh, and all those things, right? Mm. God rest his soul, because the guy, he, he got a heart attack. He was out one day, he went running, he died. And Danny Mardell sponsored me £30,000 for a Southern era title fight, yeah? Jeez. It was on BBC, yeah? Wow. My purse for the fight from Mick Hennessy was six and a half grand. And those all the names, you know. Right? Mm. So, do, so do the maths. So I'm sitting there saying, hold up a That's second. That's nuts. Right. Your purse is six bags and the sponsorship is fair. Right, right, right. And even off of that, you see like when you see all fighters getting sponsored right now and da, 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 and all the rest of it. Try and all this. Back then, mm. I was getting sponsored from loads of different people. I was getting looked after. So kind of if you're getting looked after those kind of things, it's like, right, you know what? And when guys are telling you, like guys who I look up to, like who, and this guy, Danny Mardell, more time in there. And he was saying to me, like, Spence, you're going to blow, you know? It may not even be boxing. At least for a lot, he's saying, but you're mm. going to blow. Yeah, 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 you're, yeah, you yeah. Trust me, you are going to blow. And th that was, a listen, see the time when that guy died and he was a proper cockney man as well, mm. right? But I mean, like, swear to God, I love that man, you know? Mm. The, like, the things that that man done for me or how he helped me, nothing but love for him. You know what I mean? Nothing but love. It, but it's like, it. yeah. But they 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 showed me um, um, things of life. And I said, right, you know what? I'm rolling with this, you know? So let me... So, let me like, I was going to... Can I jump yeah, in? Yeah, what to call it? So when was the moment that... Because you transitioned nicely. A lot of people probably probably listening to this and thinking, right, even though Spencer Box. Do you know what I mean? Loads of people a lot of people, so... That's kind of cool because the, the record was rubbish. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> when was the transition into TV? Like, when was that mo When was that first moment? Was it Straight Sky or did you start no, another no, network? No, 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 no. Like, no it how, was, how it went was this. It was like... Um, I got my trainer's, manager's and promoter's licence. Uh, what? Wait. Oh, wow. What, yeah. what? At the same time? At the same time. I'm the, I'm, I'm the only person to have done it at that time. I don't have people trainers, that trainer, day. manager, and promoter. Yeah, I got trainer, manager, promoters, license. Wow. Right. Did you? Have, how how do you go about acquiring something like that? Do you have to like mad tests or to get <laughs> to get yeah to get to get your to get your manager's license? You have to have had a British Border Control license for three years. Okay. So I, at that time, I boxed for seven years. So that's all right. And so I got that. Mm -hmm. And as I as I got as I got those licenses at the time, there was I was like. I was like, yo, I was proud of Ram, the youngest ever black promoter I was. At the time, I was about 30. Yeah, I was, I was 30 then when I got, no, 31, tell I lie. Okay. Right? And at the same time, when I, when I got those things, um, I was on a court case. Like, it's madness. My dad just died. My dad just died. And 
I was on a court case. So we're talking that was two thousand when my dad passed away two my dad passed away two thousand, so two thousand five, two thousand six I was on a massive court case. And the same guy Danny Mardell paid for all my legal bills. And as he paid for my legal bills and I was going through my court case, he died. So I had like a guy who I looked up to as a mentor, you know what I mean? He passed away. Few months few months earlier, my dad passed away. Oh wow, that's a lot of loss. Right. Oh. Then I end up in jail on conspiracy charges and money laundering charges. Um and then I'm on this court case. And then one of my mates, Raj, Asian guy, said, Oh yeah, there's a new gym, the ring gym. Why don't you go down there? And and just chill out because you're not doing nothing. And I'm saying, yeah, yeah, for real, I'm gonna go do that. I remember being on 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 remand. I was on yeah. remand for a month in in uh, in Brixton Prison. And I remember being on remand, and I'm seeing like I'm getting looked after because at the time Danny Williams just fought Klitschko for the world title, so big mm, thing. You mm, know what I mean? Mm, mm. And um, and props to Danny Williams because Danny Williams put up half a million pound bail money for me. Wow. Right? And I remember... Oh, so the relationships run deep in this box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It is, it is, it is. You know what I mean? It's, it's totally different now because we grow older and we change. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? But, and at that time there, it was like, right, what am I going to do with myself? Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I said, you know what? So I'm, in, I'm inside I'm inside the jail cell at Ame Khan. Mm -hmm. um, Ame Khan's having his um, last amateur contest and I just having it all the guys on the wing are saying boy boxer like I ain't got no name so he's like boxer who's gonna win this fight and da, da, da. Mm. but I'm watching I'm watching I'm watching the fight and I'm saying to myself like these men don't really talk boxing you know what I mean mm. Mm. I said I could do this oh you're talking about, they're not the commentator yeah I'm oh, saying okay. like, the I'm saying like even us to be a pundit on boxing I said I could do this mm. because I'm hearing certain things this is down too good to me and like, so it's all done. Man. Like, so I came out, I was on, I came out. Can I, I ask you, because this is good, by the way, I want to ask you a question of, you know, let me, sorry, let me let you finish your thought. We'll right, go cool. back. We'll I'm go back. I got, out, I got out on Bill. Um, I started down at, at City Boxer Gym. Mm -hmm. And the guy down there, his name Mark Burphy, said, yeah, we definitely, because you're swagging, and because you know everyone. Everyone's like, because you know everyone. He's like, yeah, let's go get, go get your, go get your promoter's license. And da, da, da. I ain't going to lie, that man backed me to do it, you know. Mm. And he backed me to do it. And it was like, that was a white collar gymnasium. And inside that white collar gymnasium was just mad money. Mm. So I'm saying, right, and I was earning dough, like in there, I'm training guys, and I'm picking up like a grand a week. So I'm saying, bruv, you know what I mean? And we're talking about this is what, 13 years ago, 14 years ago. I'm saying like, bruv, this thing, this, there's facets in this thing where you can, you can earn mm. off of this thing. So from then, left City Boxer Gym, Went to the Real Fight Club with Alan Lacey. Went down to that gym. And I met a guy called Greg Oshaw. And Greg Oshaw said, Spence. Because he was gassed. And it was Lennox Lewis that helped me with this. Lennox Lewis and Nassim Hamid. We, Lennox Lewis phoned me up and said, listen, I'm coming to the UK. I want to do something with the kids. I said, you know I've got a gym down here? He said, yeah. I want to do something. I'll do something in the gym. I said, all right, cool. So I saw it out. Like, one of Lennox's mates, Lloyd McCullough, so I had to big up Lloyd as well. So, like, Lloyd, Lloyd was like, yeah, right, then sort out something for the big man, because the big man, I can't remember. And, you know, mm. them, and, yo, Lennox's mm. man around here, mm. love him, like, yeah. cook food. So I said, all right, cool. Lennox Lewis coming down the gym, and for the Angus Lawson Memorial Trust, we raised something like £40,000, and we mm. gave every single penny to the charity, and the charity gave it up to... Kid space, or you know what I mean? Mm. They get a mind to kid space, and then I won't muster teeth for the money. Anyway, that's another, that's another thing. That's another thing. We ain't got my thing, right? <laughs> so, le Lennox, Lennox, oh, that thing that, that yeah, charity, that, you that charity, see, that would, yeah, oh, it's not, that charity, right. that um, it's not even kids, no, kids no, it's, space it's, or kids. It's, 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 it's kids, kids, kids company. company, kids yeah, yeah, company. Yeah, kids space is the right, kids soft space. play for the right, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah, you go there. Come on, kids. I was just doing. I was just three years old. She freaked me out. What? She has to come. Meet, she's got to meet my mom. I got three year old as well. They're nursery fees are a bitch, aren't yeah, they? Bro. 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 I'm going back to shooting. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> don't, take jokes, jokes. don't take me back. Don't take me back. But no, I'm saying like. Did. We, so we did that, and then what happened was. Lennox Lewis said, yo, you, you know the prince? Said, yeah, of course I did. So like me and Prince Nassim 
Ahmed and Lelis, we went out to eat. So I went to one of my wow. mates' restaurants and big up Martin Sapico. Right? right? Right. We went we went down there and then like at dinner, um that's when I said, Lennox, you know what, you know I eat I had it in ya? And it kicked off, bruv. I remember that argument about yeah, Right. Yeah, that meant it was with me. So <laughs> that was with you. Yeah, it was with me, yeah, yeah. And it kicked off. Oh so then I was a youth here. Right, exactly, <laughs> right? So it kind of kicked off. So Lennox said, no, Bridget. We have forgot the gym and all. Nassim was saying hits harder than Lennox Lewis. Yeah. And this argument went on for time. It went on for time. And then they went to the gym <laughs> and they had a little friendly little muck around thing. It was a little jogky pie thing. But Oh, you just got you got to see that as well. No one no, else. No, no, no. It's me, myself, big up CK Flash because he was with me as well. Oh, that's that's right. Flash, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. See, me and CK Flash. So, yes. like, me and CK, and the maddest thing, because me and you laugh about that because CK come down. I said, right, CK, yes. come down, man. Come have dinner with me and me and Lennox. And these guests are like, right, what? I said, yeah, come, man. I'm on Bridges restaurant. Yeah, I mean, all now I ain't paid the man for the food. Right, I'll be real, 100. <laughs> Shut your mouth, I had Lennox Lewis and Nassim Amber in your place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the payment. <laughs> Take you know pictures what I mean? up on the wall. You know I mean, Martin Sapico was in America, he phoned me. The guy at Oz restaurant, nah, you're taking liberty. I said, bro, do you know what I did in your place? Bro, you should pay me. Anyway, it's so. It's a heavyweight meal, though. That's yes, a lot of food, come on, though. Come on. That's food, right? fam. I'll be hurting bruv, inside. Bro, <laughs> So they did, they, they, did, they did that and they come down, but then Boxing News put that on their front page. Oh. And, and then off of that, that's when everything just went nuts. So then I was training a really wealthy guy called Gregor Shaw. He said, oh, I could give you something on tax breaks. Like, how much money would you need to go do this boxing thing? I said, boy, I don't know. I'm saying, like, I don't know, about 60 bag. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, we can try to sort out something. So then I had a guy, Karen Baines, who was my bona fide. I love this guy. He went out to Australia to live his back now. But like, Karen said to me, yeah, let's get into this boxing. Because he was the guy that got me into Satanta TV. So I got into Satanta. Remember Satanta? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they I was doing bust. a... I was doing a, I was doing a Irish, right. they? Yeah, Irish yeah, thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, Satanta yeah. Sports really kind of gave me my bus bus because Satanta were talking about this guy's incredible life. Steve Bunce's word. This is not why you said, ah, oh, he's got encyclopedic knowledge. Bunce. You know what I mean? Mm. So then Steve Bunce comes, kind of put my name out, put my mm. name out. Mm. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool because I still got nothing on YouTube. So when people say, you're not knowledge, just run that dumb plate to them, right? So then... <laughs> so run right, the dumb plate. Yeah, so run that one, man. You know what one's there? So, them man raised me up some mad dough. They gave, they, it was like, they raised up something like three million pound. But then I got the chunk of the share of it is like 500 bag for me to start over like for a two year process. And then I just started to get fires and it started to build and build and build off of that. Then like Darren Hamilton become British champion. British champion yeah. Darren was sleeping on, for that right, yeah, Dar mm. Darren Hamilton was sleeping on my sofa in the, in the, in the gym. Wow. He's homeless. Come down from Bristol because some wars, some guys tried to pop him. And like, yeah, and now, you know what I mean? He, he turned his life around because he's got that mantle now. He's a personal trainer picking up a couple grands a week time mm. because he got that accolade of saying, right, I was British champ. You know what I mean? So that's, loads of um, things. Then, you know, the White Collar Show at yeah, Troxy. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the one I did years ago. I that's need, the first one. Yeah, okay. In, in 2011. But on Bad Boys, yeah? Yeah, Bad Boy yeah, Promotions. Right, yeah, right. Chrissy. So, yeah, she's a lovely yeah, yeah, lady, yeah. man. So then Darren, Darren did that. Then like... You know what I mean, Troy True and Pro, he was a featherweight, he won the he won the prize fight. And then Larry Kandai had like two two professional two professional fights, went into prize fight, one prize fighter. Then there was just this mad buzz. So this is like this is like 2012. So everyone's like, boy, it's been it things were just blowing. Cause I'm like, and my shows, you get on YouTube now, they were like dances. They were like dances, brother. Everybody would come out to him. Like I said, more girls come out to the team than 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 guys. It was ridiculous. And yeah, I raised up all of that money, and I was like, right, what else are we gonna go do here? So off of that, everyone's calling your name. So mm. what happened was 2012 Olympics. Mm. John Joe Nevin versus Luke Campbell for the featherweight final, right? Mm. No, right, and. They didn't, uh, sorry, it was a feather, it was Bantamweight, uh, Bantamweight final. So, big up Matt Christie from the Boxing News. They were ringing around saying they needed someone to come in, in the studio. Oh, wow. Right? So, they ring Boxing News, and Matt Christie's like, you get Spencer Ferron. It's like, his knowledge is ridiculous on this game. Get him. So, at the time now, my missus went away for, for the weekend. Yeah. And she took, my wallet. So for that whole weekend, then it's a bank holiday. I never, I was talking about a mistake. 
I didn't have no money, right? And it's a long weekend because it's a bank holiday weekend as well. So mm. then let's say like... Internet right. banking weren't even right. heavy back then. Internet banking wasn't even heavy back then. 2012. 2012. No, 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 Right, you know that. So I said, right, you know what? I'm broke for the weekend, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, bro, I'm Unless you got like the checkbook. Unless you got the checkbook, you might be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checkbook, pay to me, fam. Then my cousin from Jamaica phones me. She goes, ah... Rip the kids, them I got back at school, I'm in the money, and da 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 So, if you know about me, you know, I got bag of suits. So, I'm in my yard, I'm going through my suits. Can't always leave money, but I'm going through my suits. And I've, like, rah, I raised up like 120 pounds. So, I went to Western Union there and dropped the money in there. The Asian man behind the counter, ah, oh, Kalia, that's what they call us, yeah, you know, yeah. right? Ah, oh, uh, Mr. Boxer, look, um, why didn't you tell me you're giving me all this ruffled money? You should have just told me. And I'll just send it for you. But, you know, my dad always said, don't take nothing from no one. You know what I mean? But I was like, nah, it's cool. Don't worry about that. That's to keep your credit. Right. I said, yeah, you know that one. You keep that shit. So they gave him the money. As I, as I walk back, walking back home, I get a phone call from the BBC saying, oh, Spence, would you like to come in? And so I said, well, how much how much money? How much money? I'm broke, you know? Right? Remember, it's a long weekend. I was saying to the man, like, oh, how much are you paying? They said, oh, uh, we, can, we, we can pay you a £1,000 to come in. I said, £1,000 for me to go on BBC. He said, yeah, all right, cool. I said, look, if you give me cash, I'll take £700. Oh, that's negotiating like yeah, that. You're yeah. negotiating. They said, <laughs> no, and the woman, the woman, I think, said, yeah, cool. Come, come, come and do it. Mm. I'll come down there and, bruv, I was trying off. When I was on the thing, I ain't gonna lie, I went in, I just went in, I was talking things like, don't even have to concern about anything else on there. But I was just talking, just he just was, yeah, I was bringing out facts, I was killing him with it. And then, off of the back of that, there was a guy at Sky, um, there's a guy, Charles Lawrence, I have to big him up, he's no longer there no more. But Charles, Charles said, yeah, we're doing a pilot for a show on Sky um, called Toe to Toe, would you like mm. to come in? So in my mind, I'm saying, yeah, brother. Mm. Look at that sky, have big money that day, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bruv, 50 pound, 50 pound, brother. <laughs> listen to me, they gave me, are you listening to me? They said to me, it's a pilot. I can talk that man, you know 50 pound. <laughs> are you listening to me? Fifty pounds. I weren't ready for that one. Well, right. I ready for that. Right. Fifty that pounds. First introduction. Like, right. Fifty pounds. That's what they. Zero. That's what they. That's what they gave me. Fifty pounds. That hurts. Right. And I said to myself, don't oh. worry about that. You know what? I'm gonna. And he just been on the BBC doing a. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. For so I said, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. But he said, no, no, you can come in. It's once okay. a week. We can pay you travel expenses. You know, because it's a, it's a pilot. But boy, props to Ed Robinson. I got props him because he was like, yeah, spend. Just come in and do it because he didn't really want to work. Uh, with Johnny Nelson and he didn't really want to work with Glenn McCourt <laughs> because they had their own thing. So he said, yeah, come in because I've known him for years as well. It's a guy I've known mm. for years. He said, yeah, come in. So I was just to props him for that. So I went into Sky, did my bit and then after a while, they, they gave me, it wasn't even long, they said, right, I'm going to offer you a contract and then that was broken money. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I was like, rah. But, and when it happened, big up Johnny Nelson. Yeah, Johnny Nelson gets a lot of hate um, from, from, and we know he gets a lot of hate from, from black people. He does. Let's be real. I, from black people? No, he does. He does. I ain't Why seen it. Why specifically black people do you see that? He does get a lot of hate. Can I, he gets a lot of hate, but he gets a lot of hate from, from black folks when they really? say like, because he's a Yorkshireman. You gotta realize. Oh, no, I love Johnny. No, I, I've never Johnny. seen that. No, no, let's tell him we've got like, yeah, 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 Johnny, yeah. fam. Do you know what? But no, don't worry about what these men are saying, fam. Yeah, no. no I'm, it's still I'm, Johnny Nelson, it's fam. Johnny Nelson, fam. When you think of, now when you think of the face off, Sky Sports and like, It's him. Exactly. Right. So, so you, you don't, think so you don't, him. So, oh, let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah. But well, you don't think like he gets a lot of, like, people think like sometimes he's cooning and the, 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 you don't think he gets a lot. He gets a lot. Me and Johnny talk. Because when I see. So when me and Johnny talk about this thing. One second, I want to. So that that me and Johnny talk, me and Johnny cool. talk, and like it's like people say, oh yeah, you're a sellout, you're Uncle Tom. You're but how the because you watch the AFL and he's keeping it real, he like, like yeah, he, he no, did no, no, it no, like no, the... no. So I'm saying he gets a lot of it, and I'm saying no, I've never. That's the no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I'm saying Johnny's real, you know. I can I regard Johnny as a a close friend, not even like he's a close friend to me, and like. And Johnny always says, oh, boy, Spencer, keep on doing what you're doing. So I got my contract at Sky. That lasted for seven, what is it, seven, the, 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 seven and a half years. Mm. Seven and a half years, and it started to change the format. So everyone had to go on, like, you had to be paid, you had to be working at Sky properly. Mm. So no... Staff thing, no yeah, contract. No staff yeah. thing, no, because okay. now people was doing some some scam on the tax. Mm. So I'm saying, yeah, but they were going to downsize anyway. And you know, like, my mouth will get a bit loose on certain things. I get passionate on certain things. So it's like, ooh, ooh. But now it's amazing now, isn't it? Now, all of a sudden now, they start high up. Bear black man now, isn't it? Have you noticed that? They start high up there. Yeah, they got yeah. ads. They got whatever you. They start using. Why? Because I was the first person that went out. I said, no, nah, I'm this. I'm seeing big companies who are not 
being diversified to the fact of diversity within seeing like certain people. So because of that, I was the first man to start talking about it. Then everyone starts to get on it now. And now all of a sudden now, it's become this big trend. It's become this big trend. What did Wacky Phoenix say yesterday at the BAFTAs? Wacky, yeah. He went in, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did right? He. Right, so this is what I'm trying to say. So why is it that we have to get validation from people other than us first to say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, it's true, it's true. But really and truly, we say this to each other all the time. But once we're in the mainstream now, we think we're in the mainstream, we get frightened to speak our mind. Like, why, wow, but because I don't want to pee off. Listen, man, I'm, I'm rolling with truth and I don't care who it offends. You know what I mean? And that's the God's honest truth. I don't care if the whole world is against what I'm saying. I don't business. Because I know if as long as it's truth, I'm staying with it. Mm. So when I see these things now, I'm saying, right, how much How much are you going to say you're going to roll with, with your truth? Now, lots of people roll with their truth because it's down to, well, I can't really talk my truth because I'm going to piss on my boss. If I piss on my boss, they could fire me. Do you understand? So do you sit down and say, well, I'm going to create my own thing. I've created my own thing. Mm. You know what I mean? So I don't need to depend on no one. I get when I want to get up. You know what I mean? And I earn fantastically well because I just know how to earn. So God's blessed me with that. And not only that, mm. but come on, man. Because <laughs> I know I know not even too long ago that you're talking about this, there was a there was a some a big explosion when you're talking about the Dillian White Oscar no, Reeves situation. Yeah. So the backlash on that, you know, there's there's bare speculation as to how the effects of that has affected you. Like what, nah, what was that, the reaction? Nah, what bro, was the reaction? Let me, let me yeah, tell you. Just clarify. Let me tell you this now. Right? Dylan White is my bony fight. Dylan White shows me utmost love and respect. One of my favorite fighters. Right? Dylan White's my guy. Dylan White will tell you, right, Spencer, that got me into this pro boxing. Right? Oh, snap. Okay. Right? I was around Dylan. Dylan come to me. Leroy Harrison, my old amateur coach. Leroy brought Dylan to me when Dylan was a puppy. I saw Dylan as a little puppy spa. Um, Derek Cesora, because I arranged that spot. It's spot, that's, that's right. And oh, it's, listen, snap. listen, I wish I filmed that. It's one of them kind of ones that I mm. wish I filmed that spot. So, I how old was Dillian White? And Cesora must have been pro at the Dillian, time. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, he was pro. He was he was like, he was on the verge of fighting for the British title, um, Cesora. Oh, so, these right? people have been warring from time. Right, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And on that day, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan kind of smacked him up a little piece. And Dylan was there in Bermuda shorts and pimp soles, bro. Remember pimp soles, right? The blue ones. The blue ones or the black ones? The black, the navy blue ones. Yeah, the navy blue ones. He had some, no, he some cheap trailers. They were like, they were like, they were like whiz kids. They were like whiz kids or something. Big Dylan White in pimp soles, though. No ankle support. We all wore them, fam. No, no, no. I think Dylan, Dylan must have been about 17. It must have been, it must have been about 17. Man's in college. Right? So... Yeah, it was, yeah, Dylan was, Dylan must have been about 17. Wait. But the spot was to cut you. Dylan's a big year to be a blip song. Bro, it's mad. Nah, Dylan was looking for your head. Dylan, 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 and one was um, uh, an esteemed name. I'm not even going to call his name. Don't yeah, fair enough. Like, yeah, you know why I'm not going to call his name? Because he's a pussy old, Right? Oh, mad. And I've said oh, it. Straight mad. standard. I don't Didn't care. Didn't even see that one it. coming. Okay. I was a left hand turn <laughs> still. No, no, I'm just being real. You don't see that one coming. You're in the barbershop. Talk your talk. I'm just being real. Talk your talk, fam. So, off of the back of that now, that wasn't the reason. When people say, oh, well, that was the reason for the Sky thing. That wasn't the reason. The, the Sky thing happened way months before then. Like, people, you've actually seen less and less of me. But, oh, let's throw Spencer in there, bro. Right, but you've seen less and less of me. So, it had nothing to do with that. Because that's the speculation. That. Uh, no. The, that's the speculation. For people that don't know, for the listeners and stuff, because we've got the, a lot of casual fans in that. Um, so, after the Rivas fight, you know, Dillian and all everything that came out about that, um, you were on IFL TV, and he made yep. a comment saying, "Ah, oh, Rivas." Um, allegedly, no, no, Alleged- no, 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 no. Quote me correctly. I oh, said yeah, he yeah, allegedly yeah, yeah, felt this. So don't throw stones yeah, at Dylan gonna... White, right? This is my talk. I yeah. said, "Don't throw." If you live in glass house, don't throw That's stones, it. right? Mm. So I'm showing you. I'm back in Dylan. So like, and then people thought just to give them more. Um, people thought that was the piece why you um, left. Why Went the relationship no, 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 with Sky? No, it happened. Yeah. Right? The relationship at Sky mm-hmm. was getting was was getting kind of rocky. Mm. from, and I would say, it was more like 
every time I'm coming in, it's like I'm getting tested. So it's like, oh yeah, oh by the way, did you watch the fights on the weekend? Who fought? Blah, blah, blah. What fights are happening this week? And I'm saying, bruv, you think I'm gonna be real? You think I care about these little Billy man? I don't. No, I'm just being one hundred. I'm not. No, no, I'm just being right. You know what I'm trying to say to you, right? You know what I mean? But I can understand where they will come from their perspective. But the thing about it is this, and this is the truth, because. They say that, oh, well, the Rivas thing. And then also, you called, you called Kovalev an old drunkard and mm. an alcoholic. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's bad. That's bad to call him that because, bottom line, ending of the day, like, you know, um, people with issues, anything that you say is going to be related to Sky and da, da, da. I'm saying, all right, cool. That's not the reason, brother. I'm telling you now, there's an IFL video of myself and Uma who's in some nonsense right he now. We get that time. We'll right? get to that. Right, right. Check this one out. Mm. Check this one out. When I said, when I stood up and said, it's bullshit about the lack of diversity within TV, media, especially boxing, right? And I called Eddie Hearn on this one. And it's got me having nothing against Eddie Hearn. Me Eddie Hearn are cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Right? But I'm saying, hold up a second. Your two biggest commodities in sport, yeah, is Anthony Joshua, yeah, especially in this country, and Dylan White. So what I'm saying is, I like to see that replicated in the boardrooms. Like, all of your guys there, you ain't got, you haven't got, and like, people, oh, oh, and then, man, some little idiot come on saying, like, oh, but you have to look at it, at like, at, at, at the country of what we're living in, and, and, and there isn't that many black people in the country to be in those positions. Mm -hmm. No, but the two biggest earners are two black men. Now, me, personally, I'm trying to say this. If I was running something now and I had two Asians, yeah, who, who are Oriental Asians from, from, from China or Japan, me personally, and I'm running, I'm making mega money from them. Just to balance it out, I would go get a couple of Asian man to what do you think that, that'd be like the kind of right thing to go do? I would go and do that. They say no, well, uh, you shouldn't have said that. And you also said it when you was at a matchroom show. So from then, man was they were carrying feelings. Okay. But I don't, I'm that okay. guy. I listen to me. From the time I started working for MTK Global, mm. right? Running the foundation, things were starting to get a little bit rocky in there. You know what I mean? Mm. from the time I started working for them. Now, you have to remember, it's not only the fact, so I have to big up Kingmaker, right? It's not only the fact of me working at MTK Global, it's like, oh, when I started there, oh, but you should have told Adam Smith that you, that you was going to start working. I said, brother, I'm here once a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You, lot, you haven't paid for my house. Do you mm. know what I'm trying to say to you? I'm here once a week. Why do I have to report to Adam Smith when... I'm running the foundation, and you've seen the things that I've done in the community for kids. Why do I have to report to him to say, I don't, I'm not into that. I have a, seriously, and that's the autism will come in. Like, I do have this kind of, I don't really take this authority thing to, to, you get what I'm trying to say to you? I don't really, I'm not having that. Yeah. I said, why do I have to report to him? Anyway, didn't. These same people, I'm not calling on names, but as soon as I started working for MTK Global, oh, why is he doing this and why? And them same man who said that were banning MTK Global, they're the same man breading MTK Global today. They all know who they are. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? So I'm trying to say, I'm just a real guy, you know? I'm just real. If I've got on certain things, like on certain things, I'm going to guard my mouth, but on other things, I am just a real human being, brother. And I'm just telling you how it is. Yeah, and like I keep on saying, loyalty is royalty. So off of that, and nothing to do, it was all kind of things. And it was like, oh, but... I'm, I'm not getting on with one of the co-hosts. I said, bro, me and this girl's never had no problem. Mm -hmm. Never! You know why? I'm being real. I'm being 100% real. I have, um, you see like when you're, when, you're, when you're working with females? Yeah. Right? I'm very, I'm that guy in it. Like, right, you know what? I'm not even going to chat to you too tough because like, I know like, there ain't many of us in that position. So I'm not even going to chat to you too tough. I don't know one trying to think like I'm, trying no smarmy little talks with you or blah. I don't have none of those things here. Mm. No one can't. Listen, you go speak to anyone down that sky, especially the, the girls who work up in makeup because they love me mad because I'll always bring them flowers, right? I tr I'm, I'm talking to females because I understand the power of the female. I'm speaking to you with a different kind of respect. But if I'm working with someone and my colleague, then they're saying, now I was getting like, oh, but I'm not, I wasn't getting on. This is what I heard, right? Oh, well, you're not getting on with Anna Willis. So, but what we're going to do, and I'm saying, are you mad? Me and Anna are cool, as far as I'm concerned. I thought mm. me because you know what? I don't I don't run them smarmy jokes with you know what I mean? Okay. It's you're like, you know what I'm trying to, I don't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing man, I'm not into mm. that foolishness. Mm. You're a female. So I'm gonna respect you as a female. Especially when I know that you don't understand my culture. Mm. There's no way I'm running them things with you. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? So it is what it is. So they can all say, oh, it was a revast thing. They'll say, nah, oh, it was a cover thing. Listen, cover is fighting in the yard. Tundi Ajay will tell everyone, Ross, Spencer brought me into the game. You're my guy. 
I don't respect no man holding up a picture of a monkey saying that is is um, uh, Adonis Stevenson. I'm, I don't buy that. Do you remember that? Mm, right then. Mm, and what, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm mm. going to feel good about that. So this is what I'm trying to say. There's too much. There's too many. There's too many punk black people out there who yeah and just take it like it's nothing. Don't run that with me. This is how I roll. I'm not having that. Those things get me mad on mm. another level. That's why I will. That's why I will get upset with certain people who say certain things. I will get upset by it. I'm an emotional guy on certain things, but certain times I'll sit back now and, and try and take emotion out of it and try and use reason. But I'm, a, I'm just that guy. I'm just that mm. emotional guy. But I'm not going to have no one uh, uh, turn around and say, and I called him a racist on IFL. And like, that was like, oh my God. Like, oh, you said a lot of things, yeah. bro. Bro, when did he say, this thing's going to stack it up, bro. Man, say, yeah, I did this. When I did this. We talk about being on the ledge. Yeah, yeah. You just live there, fam. That's your post code, fam. No, but wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, this is what I'm gonna say. Are you, are you, a man posted a picture of Adonis Stevenson, yeah? Adonis Steven, uh, and had the monkey with gloves on it. Do you remember that? I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember. Go Google it right remember, now. No, I don't remember when go, it happened. Go look at it right now. I know it happened, right, right. but I don't remember so, when, yeah. So therefore, what is that, is that racism? So why is it that, like... If you speak what, out. Right, why, why is it, yeah, is, do you get what I'm trying to say to you? So I'm saying no, and on top of that, you're fighting any yard, that's my guy. Mm. Baba Tony Ajay is my guy. You know what I mean? So, no, of course I'm gonna look out on you. I said I want you to get knocked out. And then, oh, well, you know, and oh, oh. No, my, my main thing is this. I'm all right, you know. I'm not, I'm not suffering out here yeah. at all. Yeah. I'm all right. Still got my platform. I guarantee you this is gonna be the most numbers that you like ever get on your Instagram. <laughs> I one million percent guarantee it. And I guarantee and let me tell you this, if They're it is all of that stuff in, right? Yeah. Right, 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 all of that right, stuff right, in, right. Get everything. Right, and listen, and if it is and if it isn't, and if mm -hmm. it isn't, I out of my own pocket, out of my own pocket, mm -hmm. I'll give you a grand each. Does, it, does that extend to the Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so there's five, there's five, no, there's five. No, so if it isn't, isn't, so if it isn't, no, no, it's because you're in there. I guarantee you. Reason why? Because I make numbers. No matter what. Look, I mean, no matter where I talk, I make numbers. Thousands and thousands. Listen right, to me. Let's specify the T's and C's of this deal. <laughs> <laughs> By what deadline are we saying the numbers? Oh yeah, because you know the ones will be waiting to 2035. We're about to wait till next year. We need to. By seven days. We've been. Not seven we're, days. We're, 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 give it, give my man. That's a, a grand Within a month. Within a month. Within a month. Okay. Within a month. Okay. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't happen, I'll no, take... No, because he done no, a no. madness at the top, so I can imagine. <laughs> no, 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 you can... He's got an apartment in Dubai. Who? Of course that. Right, listen. He can afford it. He can do that. All right, you can have that. You know what I mean? Right, or even I'll take off my watch. If it don't, I'll take no, off my no, watch. No, 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 because he ain't going to fit me, man. No, no, no. I'll take off my watch. I'll take it. No, 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 no. We seen it. Like, we seen it. It's huh? strong. I saw it came in. All right, all right, all right. Exactly. You know what I mean? He wants a jacket, you know? Right. Now, you, man, are trying to collect. Listen, forget this. I'm saying he knows. Let me ask you something right now, yeah? All right, go on. So, you see, that David Walker fight. Yeah. I want to ask, how was your preparation for that fight? How would you say, out of 10, was your camp for that fight? You know what? The, the hardest thing is, remember I was six foot, and I, I, I was getting down to to light middleweight, yeah? That's 11 yeah, stone. What's the, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I came into that fight 10 stone, 13 and three quarter pounds. I've never been 10 stone, three quarters. Uh, I've never been 10 stone, 13 and three quarters in my life. Because you had all I the I energy at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, exactly. You had all early yeah. rounds. I don't, I, don't think, yeah. I, don't, I don't even think, I don't even think that... Um, that even when I was born, I was that that light. I know. <laughs> Let's be real. real. Seriously. Yeah, so yeah. We, I went in, went into the fight, and it wasn't even like case like the preparation. Is like Tundi went to India, yeah. So he mm. went air, he went air for the fight. Mm. So so I was doing my my bits with Tundi. I was doing my bits and like Adam Booth. He went. I think he was in America with David A. And they come back, and, but they offered the fight. But they offered the fight on short notice. Mm. So I had that fight. That fight against Dave Walker, six days notice. Six days. Okay. Right? Okay. I had it on six okay. days notice. So that is making sense. Starting to make sense right? now. Starting to make sense. I had, it, I had it on six days notice. But I'm saying it's something there a title. It's Dave Walker. I know Dave Walker. I know Dave Walker's pranking me anyway. Road thing. I know he's pranking mm. me, right? So I'm saying to myself, you know what? I should have to clap out Dave Walker. You know what I mean? Mm. And no matter what I got in me, I said, right, as long as I can get down to the weight. And I got, I was at the weight. You know what I mean? So I said, take the fight. So I clapped him first round and I felt that little shock in my hand. 
Uh, it broke. Well, something broke. No, 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 no. I just felt the shock. Okay. You feel that shocking? And you feel right? You're dead. You know, you ain't getting up. You know what I mean, I can't I do that. Man. And it comes you know celebrations. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Bad jokes on the ropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But fair play today. The boy got up, you know. Mm-hmm. And then clapping down again. The second round he got up. He clapped me down. Third round he got up. And then Lee Cook, the referee, who's a batty yo, right? <laughs> no, he is. He's a proper anus. Don't worry, we're gonna right? end. We're gonna end it. Right. <laughs> Why, why are you going to edit that? Why are you going to edit that? All right, run it. It's the ledge. Run, run, run. It's the ledge. End of the day, the way this thing is this, when I started promoting, like, Lee Cook was going, I said, Rod, you're my employee now because he's coming and I'm promoting now. I have to pay yeah. you. You have to wait till the end and I made you wait last as well. You know what I mean? I made you wait last. I paid everyone. paid all the lights, man. Everybody else was going on. Oh, space, baby, boy. Nah, you can wait, bro. Right, nah. So, <laughs> I'm me, I'm the poor annoying now. Nah, so I'm I saying like... You can wait. So, so now on the on the reels, it was like <laughs> you can see the money in his hand. Yeah. You can wait. Yeah. This is yeah. this ain't got nowhere. Yeah, man. That's mad. What's about a ringing KG? Look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you don't interrupt me. I'm dead, bro. Right. So, oh yeah. So, so what? So what happened was? Oh my god. When I was knocked down. Say cook, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. When I was knocked down mm-hmm. and I got up, I went back to the corner. I remember, like, there's a guy, Al Hamilton. There's a big old Al Hamilton who runs the Commonwealth Sports Awards. Back, back. Like, got MB the other day as well. Well, I mean, he got a few years ago, but mm. yeah, man loved to show up. Like, you know, old Jamaican man. Yeah, I've got a, I've got an MB. I said, you never talked like that when I first met you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. That's yeah, yeah so of course. You know, cups of tea and, you know. Right, so he, <laughs> so he, and I remember he come over, he's like, why, Spencer, you can't last this fight, you know? No, you can't just read this fight. I was sat on the corner after I got, and I, just, I didn't feel right. But then I remember, like, Adam Booth wanted to stop it in the corner. Mm. So I, that's inexperienced. I mean, Adam, really, he knows the game now. He didn't really know it them times there, right? Because I'm telling you now, that like, most of the stuff that Adam Booth knows, he was taught by Gary Logan, who was training. And that's no disrespect because Adam Booth's done fantastically well, like people saying, mm-hmm. right? But props to Gary Logan, because he's a very, very good trainer. He trains mm. Dion Juma. And I've, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, so... We come out for round four and he whirls away, he's trying shots. And in my head, I'm saying, you know what, carry on. Because I wasn't gone on nothing, I was right. Mm. I'm saying, just well, carry on, you know what? I'm going gonna, gonna to give you a little while and I'm going to wail at you. I'm just going to go all out on you. And before I had the chance to go do it, it got stopped. But now in hindsight, like I said, I was getting mini explosions in my head prior to that fight. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know what? And I'm trying to tell people all of this part here, you know? If it wasn't for that fight, and it's no disrespect today, Walker, well, no one be calling his name. This is facts. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I could go, right. So I, I could go through, never, right. No, 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 no. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. If, I go, if I go through on certain things, like, people have to understand this winning and losing thing. It's not winning and losing, hey, boxing and all the rest of it. Brother, it's about winning and losing life. Right? Period. And I'm not boasting on no one. Like, He's going through some 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 problems now. It's not like ha ha ha. Look at you, because days my brethren, me and him, we talk regular. Okay. okay. He's my, this is easy boxing man, yeah. right? So days my brethren. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be looking at you like laughing at you or because yeah, yeah, you're yeah, going yeah, through yeah. what you're going through. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm I'm a big believer in empathy, right? And I, and I live that of uh, I believe I live uh, of an empathetic life. Yeah. So I'm looking at all these guys now. I'm saying, bro, the things that I have done. I'm, like I said, I'm just grateful just to be in it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but yeah, it was one of them things. It was a, it was a, it was, it was what it was, wasn't it? I'm saying like wow. the fight, the fight was what it was. Okay, let me just move. I want to take it another way, it yeah? Because obviously we've got a lot of fights coming up, yeah? yeah? Um, and I saw what you posted the other day because um, Dylan White versus Ruiz, yeah? yeah. I mean, Dylan, well, Dylan's calling out Ruiz. Ruiz. I think yeah, that's yeah. the new, that's the new target now because obviously everyone's locked up in, it's a mad yeah, situation. you're not getting Deontay. Just mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. How do you, how do you see that one game? Um, because I, I think said, Ruiz is a, just on my personal. Is a I think Ruiz is a handful. Like I trust Dylan against most fighters. If Ruiz is in shape, in the right mindset, could be tricky. This is a tricky fight. It like I still I, believe. I, still believe I just think it's. I just think it's very. Tri- I think very tricky for, especially the way Dylan, Dylan will will have a war. Dylan's ready to have a war and this is a Mexican fight. He's had so many fights. He's he he the amateur pedigree's there. You know I think Dylan White is more intelligent as a boxer now than those days where he'd always want to scrap. 
I can see you him know, handling him quite well. Do you know what? Dylan, Dylan White is the most improved heavyweight in the world. Mm. Right? One Dylan, of my White, favorites. Dylan White double jabs and he double jabs correctly yeah. now. Before he used to snatch the hand. Mm. Now he elongates the hand and he, he turns it over the fist. He, he double jabs well. He, he, he's got he's got one of the best punch varieties out of him and Tyson Fury. But I think like Dylan White's punch variety to me. Mm-hmm. Is, is more appeasing to the eye than Tyson yeah. Fury's. Because Tyson Fury just does some madness and he gets away with it because he's so naturally gifted. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. one of them kind of things. But with Dylan White, he's, he he is a, a person who has applied himself and he he understands... He's just got better. Yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 un, he understands boxing because he's a guy that... All these guys, Dylan White, Andy Joshua, all, all these guys, like, I always send these guys fights. And I said, right, watch this. And I break it down for them, what they should be watching, mm. Right. And now all of these little young fighters will come up now. They always DM me every day. If I was to go on my phone now, you'd be right. And they mm. name guys as well, mm. not only here but in yeah, America. Yeah. So with Dylan White, I'm just seeing how Dylan White has improved, how he's fine tuned himself, and and that, and because of that, I I would see Dylan White being victorious against Ruiz. Not only that, because it's, I'm telling you, it's belief. That guy oh, actually believes, believes yeah. it. He's, yeah, I mean, ain't no yeah, doubt. A, but I mean, yeah, like, it, you know, you know how, how cool Dylan White, Dylan White is. Every time Dylan White fights, you know, every time he fights, since he's been this big pay per pay per view star, Dylan White will send me my tickets. Make sure you reach, you know. And I'm like, I'm looking at the message. It's there the fight, you know. I got two tickets. You sat mm-hmm. by my mom. Make sure you reach. If I say right, I'm thinking in my head, right, you're fighting for, you're fighting, you got a big fight, one gonna disturb you for. Then my phone will ring, looking, Dylan, what, you never seen my message? So I never pick it up, I never see the two blue ticks, <laughs> right? I yeah, said, no, yeah. Dylan, you know what, I'm there, bro, don't worry about that. I've got so much time for Dylan White, mm. you know what I mean? But I've got so much time for loads of the guys in the game, anyway, but I've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dylan, to me, because I never ever thought Dylan was gonna get as far as he was gonna get to. Okay. So when I've seen it, and I'm saying the reason why it's not because I'm I didn't have a vested interest. I said like, we're going to be successful, mm. but I didn't think you was gonna get as far as you you, you was gonna go get. Mm-hmm. And right now you are just on that verge. So because you're just on that verge, I'm saying like, bruv, you know what I mean? I'm I'm just praying that you 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 um you go through, man. And that's the God's on the street. Do you reckon he'll get his opportunity against um, Deontay Wilder? Like, do you reckon that? That I, will I don't, happen. I don't, or... I don't, I don't, listen, I think um, Wilder's voodoo man. Them, I've told him to stay away from from Dylan White. Interesting, right? And that's that. You know what I mean, that's my, what I think. My fit, my view on the situation is that it's not. It's, it's it's bigger than Wilder. I think somebody at the WBC specifically dislikes Dylan White. I think it's something along those lines more so than it's about Wilder and Dylan White. No, listen. I would not question nothing to do with um, Deontay Wilder's courage. Or that's that's, that's kind of what that I guy, feel, yeah. Because he, 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 he's he's back. I don't think he's, he's scared. Back. And listen, if I, if, listen, brother, if I could punch like Deontay Wilder... Who are you going to be scared of? Scared of who? I'd be beating up everybody. Right? <laughs> Seriously. But but then but D- Dylan is... A right, different, but Dylan what I'm trying to bang. say... No, it's not even the case of like his punching power. It's the fact that Dylan just won't go away. Yeah. Bro. He won't go away. <laughs> he's just a tough back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though he, you're he, talking to me, to me, to me, he just epitomizes them man that and like when I grew up in Jamaica, I lived in Jamaica for like eight years. So it's like then guys I used to see in Jamaica who was who was just by the rum bars, just sitting there with a with a with a toothpick in their mouth, just there with their ratchet, just clocking it like oh bad man. He was mm. one of them guys. So he's a guy who just doesn't care. And those guys who don't care, they are the ones who are dangerous. All them guys are always apprehensive about your punching power and all the rest yeah, of it. Yeah. And not only that. There's a few men that I know study boxing. Tyson Fury is one of them. Me and Tyson, I sat down and debated with Tyson. Tyson's on point, right? Mm. But you see Dylan White, he studies boxing and he's always keen to listen. Mm. And he implements what you tell him and I see him doing it in fights. Every time. In, Every fight time. You can see the growth. Each Every time. Growth. See, it's, all right, so let's, let's, let's get to Fury and Wilder in this situation, right? Because Ben Davison did a video, um, an interview recently, and he was talking about the little tricks and stuff that the fight that they do, the little tendencies that they have in the ring to get rest and reset and stuff like that. And he kind of gave away that, that Tyson Fury made a mistake, which got him knocked down in the round. Where he says that for him to reset... What, what he, mistake he did wipes, he make? He got clapped. He says he, says he, he wipes he didn't get his hit face. Proper. He said his thing was that he wipes his face and that's how he resets. So he said he wiped his face and right, before, right after that, bang, he got clocked. So he kind of blinded himself and got tagged. Did he do that twice in the fight? I don't know. I didn't do it in the second lockdown. He didn't do it in the second lockdown. 
So I'm looking at, I'm thinking, do you think Wilder's skill set is kind of up to a place where he would have studied Fury to also know that that's his tendency and, and waited for that moment to bang him up? And I want to uh, jump in as well, because obviously Ben Davidson said he's not going to really talk mm. anything anyway, but... To is it a bit enough to mush up the man business weeks, and all? Two weeks, like, like, see? A couple weeks before man. the thing, saying... And he doesn't just... see that. Nobody would really notice that if you're not into boxing like that. And it's just like, now it's like, okay, you just... Because now we're all looking for it. Is that nuts? I... To be what, fair to what's him? your thought though? To be fair, I, I what's think, your I thought? Think, like, actually, Travis, I was, I'm obviously because yeah, we'll, we'll you wait, know yeah. them, man. Yeah. And like, I'm just gonna talk from us, man, in it because I, I we don't know like, them. Talk I, freely, fam. I Say what we feel. I feel fam. like it's snaky still. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're in my camp. You know me inside well, he's not out. Not in his camp no, no more. No, but no, you were in my camp, so you know me inside out, right? And now you're gone into public space to tell men my tell my it's like when I do in poker if I'm betting that's what I'm saying like, so, get me. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> my little tricks what I'm trying to say and it's like to be fair to him he mentioned something about Wilder as well but that's expected he said Wilder jumps up and down instead of side to side when he resets and I was like okay I'm, now I'm going to look out for it I didn't know but the fact you're talking on your own man's tendencies is nuts to me because Tyson Fury those things there you've been doing for years you're not just going to undo it in one camp Oh, so I'm like, well, well I'm that's saying like, mad. I'm saying like that the, the um, he's got a free heart, son. <laughs> yeah, well, I would have preferred if you never said that. But but I'm saying regardless regardless that he said it, Tyson Fury is what you call a fighting man. Mm. So Tyson Fury's been so I know what he's going through, like, like especially like with his dad John Fury, like and him being a traveler. And, bro, I grew there. around the travelers in the boxing thing, yeah. Travellers are no joke, you know. Oh, yeah. No, they're they're serious. Right, they're no joke. They're, they're always ready. They're no joke. There was a no joke. site by my school. Right, they're no like, joke, the bro. Were always right. ready. Right. They are no <laughs> always joke. Always. Get his brother. Always right, ready. Right, right, right. Come, come, come on. And they're done. Right, right. So, I'm saying like... The man will punch up and change the dress, fam. Yeah, just, yeah, that yeah, man will yeah, just yeah, move, yeah, fam. Yeah, gone, gone. <laughs> man are just gone, gone. fam. man are gone. So, I'm saying like with Tyson, with what Tyson Fury does, the trouble that Tyson... I'm telling you, you see when you get a new trainer? Yeah. It, for you to properly readjust with that guy takes five fights. Five fights takes five. And this fight, okay. his fighting style, his training style is is totally different. Well, to the thing I know, Sugar, Sugar Hill. No, Sugar, I know Sugar knockouts. Hill. I know Sugar Hill. I, yeah. I went up against Sugar Hill. Yeah. You fought him. No, my fighter went up against his fighter, and my fighter beat his fighter. Uh -oh. oh snap! Right. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Um, uh, what was his USA, fighter doing? U USA. USA. No. You, no. Sugar Hill smart. You know, okay. 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 Sh sugar. Um, I would. That's when I was. No, but I'm saying is he was yeah. Is he did he train his fighter to be like a uh, defensive or is he come forward? No, he, like, re he, saw... like, he, re he reads the game. But like I'm saying already, I saw the right. Charles Martin on his box. And I was like, that's not really the name to verify. No, your... no, no. But it's not. Like, it's, listen to me. Mm. The fact that he's Manuel Stewart's nephew, yeah, mm. right. Remember, Manu Stewart trains is he, as, like... is he as good as Manu Stewart though? Because like, no, the, no, the no, no. Kind of I'm like... just trying to say this. This okay, how it goes. Cool, this cool, go right. Tundi Ajay's cousin Eddie is a wicked barber. Wicked bar, he's ridiculous. His bar, mm -hmm. he's like on point, like, phew, like you know what I mean. But because he's a wicked barber, don't mean that, rah. You know what, Tony? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. I know you're busting the acting, Tundi. but I wouldn't let Tony cut your hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, everyone can cut. No, my no, hair, I wouldn't let him. But I wouldn't let him. But I wouldn't let him. No, no, I wouldn't let him. I, I still wouldn't <laughs> let him. I still wouldn't let him. Trust me. Trust me. You said the things about yeah, they might cut your throat. But I'm trying to say to you, like, um. Like it's one of those kind of things. So people get gassed up on these kind of things. Yeah, but yeah. He, he knows he knows his bit, but it's more to do with the fighter's confidence. But like I said, the person who mashed up that relationship between Ben Davison and Tyson Fury was Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach. It's them comments after the fight, comments. isn't it? It's them comments, them bitch, and it's wow. a bitch ass move by Freddie Roach. Planted the seed, man. Right, you come on, he planted the seed. They yeah, put I mean, him into the corner and yeah, he, he left talking about Oh, uh, yeah. I would have told a lot yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, do the words, do the words, do the words. Right, see, all of them kind of... That's the, that is, that's the guy who planted the seed. But I'm saying that the trouble in this fight here is like, Deontay Wilder didn't know how to throw his right hand properly. Mm. He didn't throw his right hand properly. And I remember Teddy Atlas was saying, the day that that guy learns how to throw the right hand correctly and sit down and get the full turn and the pivot on the waist, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be troubles for man. And now, if you go look at his last two fights, the guy has perfected how to throw the proper straight right hand. But and what, but what he does, he has to throw the jab, then throw the right hand. But the right hand's not... He, before he throw the right hand, it'd be up here. Yeah, now yeah, the yeah. right hand's coming from it's here, clocked. so you can't see it. Mm. See, when you, as soon as you see this, you know like, what's coming for you. So you can say, right, why well, comes Tyson Fury's a defensive genius? Because all Tyson Fury's going to look in there. Every time this arm moves, or oh, right. that arm moves, I know something's coming mm. at me. He's going to look yeah. this arm or that arm. 
what I mean? So, um, with Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder doesn't have a left jab. He doesn't have his left jab and he, he just, throws it from down there. He yeah. kind of like, eh, it's like yeah, some... Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not from here and he got pop, like, like he ran it straight like a like a Tommy Hearns or or like um, former light heavyweight champion in the 70s, Bob Foster. Bob Foster, you wanna, mm. you guys want to know how to oh, throw a jab? Yeah. Just watch just watch Bob Foster. Bob Foster... I'll be watching jab. him before I come to the yeah, gym, fam. 100, 100, no right? <laughs> Bob Foster's jab is like an arrow. So, those kind of guys... And like, these guys were... They were they were same kind of build as... Wilder. As Wilder, they were slim, slim frame guy. Tommy, Tommy, Earn, slim frame guy. Deontay Wilder, slim frame guy. If you go look at him, if you feel upon this, like, like, a, you know, like a basketball but, player. But then when you see his hands, you think, I don't know why you're clapping out, man, like that. Not only that, but he believes in himself. But as soon as you can throw that right hand straight, it's going to be trouble. Mm. And the thing about it is this in his head now, is he saying, I'm just going to go for Tyson Fury? But I'm saying, like, for skill and ring generalship, Tyson Fury is meant to twist him up. But he shouldn't, he's meant to, he's meant to, he's meant to twist him up. But in saying that, those last couple of fights, that Warlin fight that you had and that, right? Yeah. He hasn't looked great. Right. Yeah. He ain't looked great. But, but so it's that, the wrong kind of competition. Right, You're exactly, not going yeah, exactly. to raise him right, up his right. game. It wasn't. But you see, this fight here, he knows what he's up against, you know? Because mm. he knows. The only one never really lit me good in the, in the, yeah. and had me down. It, you go look at the, the, the second knockdown. Mm. When he was down, you thought he was dead. Mm. The, he never even clapped him good. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh my God. Like, it wasn't. This time here, He's got, he knows what he's, he's going into. So, you know what? And I don't know who's going to win the fight. I'm just being 100%. I don't know. I don't you know think what I mean? Fury's, I'm going with and you know, Fury. And you know I'm a Fury fan. I, I can't see... Mm. I can't see Fury having a chance. Only because I've watched... Wilder's just different in the second fight. Because remember, right. I punched you. I punched you. And I realised how you take my hits. Even he was so confident against Ortiz. He just let Ralph go. He said, go. I know. When, even when I, when I, even when I hit you, yeah, yeah, even when gone, I clap you, I know there's a reaction. Remember he mm. said, they react when I'm hitting them in mm. the ring. You know, I'm not seeing that. Mm. So he already knows that I'm going to tump you and it's going to hurt. So I'm going to relax and I'm going to set a trap. I set the trap. Mm. You're going to bed. You're, you're getting bed. So that's so why... I, well, I, it's not even, I don't want no disrespect to Dante Wilder. I don't think he sets traps. You don't think so? No. Even against OT? Even, See, even, this is the thing. I think no, he's a no, lot smarter no. than people give him credit. No, no I'll say he was very, very, he was very, very smart in his first Romain Saverne fight. He boxed in that fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's when I said, the right, you, actually, yeah, the first fight. Yeah, mm. I said, right, you actually got a boxing brain. But it's like, sometimes he's so hyped just to, to entertain mm. and to clap out, man, because he likes this. You know what? I just knock out, man, fam. Right? That's, that's what he's trying to do in the yeah, first one. That's what he's trying to do. Right. Yeah. Um, and he said he was nervous. Yeah, he was nervous. But I would say, like, I don't think he's actually going out and setting traps. Mm. I'm always like, he just positions himself to say, right, I'm just going to position myself now where I can let off that right hand. Mm. And he knows he's got some ancestral power going on there, you know? Mm. Some timeless. Alabama, some, he got some things going on there, bro. <laughs> some gumbo things going on there with that right hand, yeah? yeah that yeah. he's saying to himself, right, you know what? I clap you, you're gone. So I don't mm. even think he's like, ah, oh, I'm not saying that he's not smart. I think that he's very, he's a, he's a very intelligent, he's mm -hmm. a very, he's a very intelligent fighter, but he chooses just to be this fan friendly yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, because yeah. he's saying, well, well, I got to go do this to, I don't know, get the money up or so, anything else. So like, we've had arguments, mad arguments about I could Tyson imagine. Fury, I about could Tyson imagine. Fury, right? Go on. Now, me, I, 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 I respect Tyson Fury's skills, right? I think he's a great boxer. Yeah. But I, I don't know if his career thus far justifies the the GOAT status that some people want to put on him. No, like, man, who's putting the GOAT status nah, on him? Uh, uh, who, like, who could dream of putting GOAT well, status? GOAT well, status, listen, when listen. you are something, GOAT status when you got great men like Joe Luce, you got okay. great men like Jack Johnson, you got great men like Muhammad Ali, Larry but, Holmes, you want to go for the whole list, the Rocky Marciano, then who could call back GOAT? Well, well, who listen, puts the GOAT listen. status on him? The Bro, gold status has to come from the fact that the man beat mental health. The gold status has to come that the man, after beating Klitschko, right? After beating Klitschko, when a man was uh, unbeaten for nearly 10 years, that he went out there, beat Klitschko in his own backyard, and he bad up Klitschko as well. He said, bro, he mind. come to, come to, no, he come to think, let it, tell him, he said, no, no, it's like, it's like Fury, I wear a credit thing, you know? I said, what he said, no, Fury, turn up. What Klitschko does, yeah, he gets these, these, High over padded um, um, opponents. No, 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 no. The, the 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 canvas is over padded. He trains on over padded canvas. When oh. you step on it, it's like you're walking through the swamp. So it gets your legs tired. That's how he claps up, man. Snap. All of these kind of things. So Tyson Fury come there. Dance. He just said, "Nah, bruv. He said, "Change that." There was a woman in the R in. Mick Ennis went. And they said, "If you don't change it, we're going home." 
Rago, this is on the. This is like. Yo. This is this is a that few hours before the right fight. Now. That's mad. Right, this is a few hours before the yeah. fight. They said, bro, we're going home. That's for forget this. I'm going home. That man fixed, change up the thing for us. That man wanted him fighting on a bouncy right. castle. Right, know? exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all in, see, I'm, 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 I'm just dropping this. I'm just right, 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 right. You know that? Like, kids play, kids play. Yeah, kids play. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not bringing you, but I'm bringing you, me and our kids on a uh, play day. Right? So, all of these kind of things. He said, bro, don't try to take me for the market. Yeah, yeah. So, all of these kind of things. So, you have to look at this. I rate Tyson Fury. Remember, after that, uh, Oliver Holt set him up. Made at them comments that he said about uh, about homosexuals and and aligning it with pedophiles and, and all the rest oh. of it, and they demonized that man. They killed that guy, yeah. And at that time, at that time, publicly, on public platform, Big Sky and everything else, I was always defending Tyson Fury because I'm saying I know, I know, I know, I know this. This sounds very ring kind of true to like me being a black person. You're getting a murders right now because you're a traveler. I know this for a fact. You know what I mean? And when you're around, and that's that. I've said it. I'm not taking it back. You know what I mean? And that's that. And and they know it as well. Because they say, oh, well, you said what you're saying, but... And they demonise that man. Then the man, what did he do? He brushed himself off. The man got up to, to nearly 30 stone. He cut down on the weight. The man was saying that I'm going through mental health. And the people said, oh, he was using, like, all oh, the mental health as a get-out course. No, he wasn't. I've been around Tyson Fury. The man had mental health issues. Mm. You could tell it. You could look in his face. You see, the man had issues. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. So then what happened? The man brushed himself off, signed a deal with MTK Global. Props to MTK Global. Yeah, let me tell you this now. Because he signed after the fight, he signed a $125 million deal f- with, with Bob Arum. That was done by Sandra, Sandra Vaughan and, and, and Bob Yalen of MTK Global mm. and the Kingmaker. He signed that deal. He revamped himself, cut down on the weight, took things serious, started to show his compassionate side. All the rest of it, nothing but props to Tyson Fury. You know the reason why? Because I know... And, and I know every man in this room also knows what it's like to be ostracised. We know what it's like. But when you try to explain to people, you're the one who's got the chip on the shoulder. Mm. So props to Tyson Fury. No way. Tyson Fury's from my a, guy. So he says from... Yeah, so from a... I ain't gonna argue that way. Yeah, he can't. I, mean, can't, <laughs> yeah, I like can't. Tyson Fury anyway, so... Like, but I didn't even know that part about the ring. Oh, that's that's on, wild. That's right. a lot. Right, a lot. but they do, they do. Listen, the clips calls very. Listen, it's a business. They would do this with loads of guys. Everyone, you go, go speak. Get Derek Suzor. I'll give Derek Suzor's number. You get, they get Derek Suzor on the show. He go tell you about the skull Duggers. You should ask um, Bobby Tony J. The skull Duggers who went on when when Derek Suzor went out there to fight Vitaly Klitschko. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's big skull Duggers that going out there. That's how they got because they got the monopoly on it. Because like they brought the heavyweight championship. They killed it, bro. Right to dead, to the Blue Ukraine Rose. and to Germany. And they and they and and they they smashed it. They ain't props in them because I'm not saying they're not good fighters. They, they, they made their peace, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they made their peace. But they would always get like you go speak, go speak to Hassan Ratman when he went out there to go fight Kitschko and all the skull duggery that went on there. There's bit of skull duggery, so it's not no level playing field. It's out there, you know. That's why David Hay lost, bro. No, David Hay, no, 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 no. That's why David lost, bro. No, but regardless of that, you go speak to those guys. They were still, no, they were still, 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 but there was still skull duggery that went on there. Hence why, do you remember when when David's met in these ring entrance and it took long? Yeah. Like they did mm. the, all the fanfare and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. and it, like it took long because him and Adam Booth, they were like, F this man, they're man are trying to because that's how it works. See, okay. Right? So it's been but that's interesting. Those those little demonic um, things, they don't really happen over. I haven't seen none of that happen over. I ain't seen like, the little skull duggery then little what's up with you laughing at? No, you know what it is? Like, he's you know gonna, what it is? Now no, he's got that, yeah. No, I'm he's gonna, gonna use that. Next time we no. have a debate, yeah, he'll be like, bruv. Let's go, Duggery. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, do you know what it is? Because I, 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 someone, I read a blog online about that fight and he's talking about how he, he was getting injections in his foot to deal with the, the pain. Yeah, quarter zone, getting quarter zone injections. Okay, so that's, that's, that was still yeah. happening. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. I was just freaking raw. Okay, it's changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we, no, you know, we were debating last week, yeah? Like you saw it on, the, on our page, that, um, a fantasy fight between David Hay and Frank Bruno. How that would go. I said, Frank Bruno, I said, and I've been talking to people what? all week about. Like, what did you say? I said, listen, one thing about Frank, he can go, he can go, he can, like he he'll go to like the depths. I'm saying he'll like he's what's that? I won't say just endurance, but he can take a punch. Do you know what I'm saying? He, he'll go to war, war, and he can punch both hands. He's got knockout power in both hands. Is what I was saying. See, my issue, so my, issue, my thing, right? my thing with that year is I've just seen um, an amazing like. Just mad bravery, mad bravery. Taking fight, even when you take when you take Tyson coming out of jail, yeah, you're saying to yourself, hold on, like I know 
bear man wouldn't take that fight. Right. Especially he's a hungry man that is coming out to prove himself and say, listen, I'm going to make up time for what, what me, I lost. Let me explain why I feel like Frank Bruno couldn't beat David Hay. Because mm-hmm. Frank Bruno, in my opinion, had all the tools to be a top elite fighter, but mentally he wasn't that guy. That's not true. I feel that's that's my did opinion. You, did you not see his fight with Oliver McCall? Yeah, yeah, and did that was, see, uh, and that that was yeah, I did. Mccall? I watched that. Did I watched that fight? at the time live yeah. as a youth with my right. dad, right. and I remember watching that. And and yeah, that was a great fight. It was a great performance. But there were times in Frank Bruno's career, like for example, when he fought Tyson, he should have beat Tyson. He caught, t- why, caught should and, he, why should he beat? Tyson? I felt like he caught and hurt Tyson, and was kind of well, stunned uh, that he was. talking about the first fight. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. so the first, the first fight. This I'm really few. First fight was. February 25th, 1989. See, this right? is the knowledge. I love when you right? get to this bag. I like... <laughs> <laughs> when, when, yeah. like, when, okay. when he caught, when he caught Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. Mike Tyson was coming in and he catches him with, uh, he throws like, he goes, he throws a left hook, catch him with a left hook. Yeah. Tyson was trying left hook. And he so he, right. he caught, he, yeah, and, he, and, he, and, and Bruno hit him with a left hook. Yeah, that, that stunned Tyson. But I want people to realise this. Frank Bruno could bang. Thank you. Of course, I know that. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you're saying, of course, you know. No, I do know. I bro, do know. Bro, bro seriously, you know what? Because you grew up in a David A time, so you're no, thinking no, like no, David bro, A. I, no, I you watched grew, that you fight up, live. How old are you Travis? How old are you 32. I watched that fight live with my dad, telling you I've been watching boxing for a minute. So I, that, that, he, his error is not new to me. No, no. I understand it them times. No, you don't. Don't question my team when I watched it live, bro. Bro, but that's what I'm saying to you. I didn't understand fights when he was four, you know. I did have that fight. I'm not right, saying I'm competing, right. but I'm <laughs> no, saying no, no, I watch Frank. I'm saying I watch Frank. So in my opinion, I tell you what you do. I tell you what you do. I'm gonna I, like I don't, I want you to go use some next fight. I didn't want really to go talk about the Bruno thing because I I I left my essay on your on your page, right? That's yeah. a bad boy <laughs> essay. Right? Do you know how proud I was? Uh, thank you I saw that. Much, I said right? yes. Nah. Right. I said, so, I was, uh, even on the show, issue. I was gonna say, "Call Spencer." Right. So now I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Right. This is my opinion. Right. Go and watch. How Frank Bruno was handling Lennox Lewis. Mm. I, I, I seen this. See? I seen this. See? I seen this. And you know what? And you know what? You know what? You know what? There you go. Frank Bruno would be a nightmare for Anthony Joshua. Oh, see, in my opinion, I view Anthony Joshua as an improved version of Frank Bruno. Well, no, but it's not though. But it's not though. No, fight, no, 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 no. How is he? How is he? What you're saying is more of an improved fire. You got to look on the Ruiz that boxed. Um, Anti Joshua in the second fight wouldn't be Oliver McCall. No, let's agree. Do you reckon the Ruiz in the first fight would be Oliver McCall? No. Okay. No way. Because I think Oliver the Ruiz how, in the first how, fight was better than the second yeah, fight. Yeah, I know it was, but that. how would it be Oliver McCall? Oliver McCall had a granite chin. Mm. You couldn't move that guy. Yeah, for real. Even when he's had mental breakdowns in the, the second fight with him, him, him against, yeah. yeah right, you couldn't even move that guy. Mm. So, no, I, I, yeah, well, it's opinions, isn't it? And it's not mean that I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just saying, like, like what validates me to say, I believe that Frank Bruno would have beaten David Hay because at the time, I used to do debates on my Facebook all the time. That's that's all the time I used to do debates. And everybody was like, no, Frank would have done him because you got to look at the wins that David Hay... I saw David mm. Hay got hurt by Monty Barrett. I'm not knocking David Hay because David Hay is one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time. That's mm-hmm. what I was going to say. Right? Like, a, cruiserweight, right? a cruiserweight team? Yeah, yeah. What? It's, it's right? finished. There's no... There's no what? Yeah, Bro, yeah. as a cruiserweight, it's, there's no discussion. Right, no one is right, talking none, about him as a cruiserweight. None, none, yeah. His not. heavyweight thing is yeah. different. The reason, right. Okay. The and, that, and that's and that's what I'm going but, on. That's that's all I'm going on. I'm saying like, if Monty Barrett could wobble you, and I was there, I right? No, he went to Florida. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Florida, and I've never had a fight. So right, right, still. Exactly, it's mad. <laughs> it's proper mad, bro. I don't see you how Frank mean? is putting him together and landing on Hey, Hey was very elusive. Frank was very <laughs> stiff. No, no, no. Frank you was see, very... you know what? You're over. You're you're see, let wrong. me tell you. You know what? Maybe I'd have agreed with you um, a few. No, I wouldn't have. But I wouldn't have because I, I was studying Frank Bruno. I was just watching a couple of his fights and mm-hmm. that, and I'm watching Bruno. Right, okay. Bruno. Bruno was 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 stiff and lethargic on certain things. I agree, mm. but he could bang and he was, Both he hands. was but, and he was schooled with that jab. He had a very very good. He was out jabbing Lennox Lewis. Are you listening to this one? Yes. No, no. I he know, was out I, jabbing I know, Lennox I Lewis. Know, up on points. Know, right. I know. I mean, let's... I'm. Like, he would have been too big. He was a big guy. Up on points. Him. Him. Right. It was mm. like. Um, 17 stone 8 certain times it had been too big and too strong for David Hay that's my opinion that's not me saying that I just don't that, think he's fast right. enough to catch Hay okay. uh, Hay's elusive <clears throat> Hay ain't committing Hay's not working on the inside Hay's timing and stalking and waiting for the bang and Frank okay. Bruno might not Frank get knocked Bruno down kicks. but he gets stopped on his feet 
Alright. Anyway, you know what? Before, I agree to disagree. Before we go, yeah. We're gonna run, we're gonna run out on, yeah, on video do, time. Let's, let's do a, a it. We want to test the knowledge. Nah, you know, you, know, you know what? You know what? Let me tell you this. Let's do a, I find, I let's find do a that, test I find, of knowledge. We've got I a few questions. I find, that, I find that very, very disrespectful. No, no, it's not, it's not a disrespect. No, I'm going to tell, tell you why. No, listen to Just me. Just a little quiz, bro. Uh, no, no, I'm, t- I'm going to tell you why. Oh, I'm, right? I'm about to be on that. No, 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 it's not, it's not. You know what? Because I knew that this <laughs> was coming. Puppy, nah. And like, I'm not no puppy show, bruv. But you go shoot around. I'll, 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 I'll try to answer your no, questions. No, because you know no, why? No, I just want to clarify though, because it's not a disrespect thing. No, I know it isn't. I know it isn't. to me, But to me, I'm like... You know what it is? It's like, I get this every day. Like, people come up to me every day. I want to... And, like, sometimes you can get kind of sick and tired of it. You get what I'm trying to say to you? I hear that. And, and, that's, and that's not me. And that's not I me like, that. ooh, but, the, but go on, come on then. Let's do it then. Go. I don't even know if I want to no, do it. No, 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 do it, it fam. Do. It's like someone coming up to you, told me a joke. You're yeah, comedian. it's the same right. thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to... Yeah. I hear that, but I'm saying but I no, get I that. I get it every day. And you know what the biggest disrespect? You know the test... Hold on, hold on, hold on. The test of knowledge is knowledge. It started from when I was at Sky. They said, "Oh, well, if your knowledge, and um, yeah, let's let's do it." But then certain times it was smarmy, right? Mm-hmm. Certain times it was certain times it was smarmy. It was like little smarmy things I'm going on the show, and I'm saying, "Bro, I know you're only running these little poison and things because I'm a black man in here, you know." In my head, because I'm starting to get paranoid. But now, when I'm saying the song, them kind of things, it's not like, "Oh, well, go." Bro, I don't need to say that. People, everyone knows this. You get what I'm trying to say mm, to you? Mm. But if you want to go jump in it, go. Nah, cool. nah, 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 nah. I don't want to do that. I just want to say, if you want, yeah, <laughs> it's up to you. Like, because I know you're not on the signing, signing thing, but we always have the guests that come on, they sign the gloves. It's up to you if you want to sign it. But yeah, you know why I, I told you? I don't sign gloves, bro. Yeah, but it's like, you know what I mean? the mark the, that you was here? What's the reason behind that? But I get huh? it, though. What's the I, reason I don't, I don't, seriously, it's I just don't. Not, not, it's not my thing, bro. I find it tacky. The reason why is this, it's like, you guys know me. Mm. I've been on your show. Mm. So mm. I don't believe that I need to sign any gloves. That's just our role. And like, and plus I see Lennox Lewis's name on there and, and, and uh, Dion Juma. You got your boy on there as well. Shout out, your, your, uh, shout out your podcast as well, by the way. So uh, you know what? Know. You know what? It's like, um, the fight is right, but I ain't get shot out anyway. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Shout out so, right. So, so, <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'll, just, I'll just be real. You know, we're getting some bad numbers, right? Yeah. So I'm just saying, I'm just grateful for the numbers. And like, when I'm turning around, it's like, like in the beginning of that, like, you didn't know, like I was actually teasing with you. When I was going in on you, uh, Travis could tell you, because I was whispering to Travis saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, but no, you must have thought, I was saying, yeah, you're yeah, bloody African. No, nah, <laughs> but I was going to say to you, but no, nah, but no, nah, that's that would be That would be mad if you were saying that, and I was just like <laughs> continuing like it was no, like, no, I had to no, joke. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so on, on, on 100, I was just, I was just, I was just, te- I was just teasing, man. I was like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But no, I'm going to call, t- I'm going to call, what you call it though? What? I'm going to call um Tunde. I'm going to have a phone conversation with him. Because my thing is, like, as you said, my thing is this. I like to, because even when he was talking, I still just thinking over what he was talking about. And mm. my thing is, I'm the kind of person that I never want to come across as phony. That's not my thing. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Because same way you're from the street, I'm from the same street that you're from. You see what I'm saying? So if someone called me, I'm, I'm, say, I'm rich now, so it doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> well wait, but then we know. But I get it. I know you got the money. I know you. I know you got money. I know you got money. I know you got money. But, I know, I know money, yeah, yeah. Got money, but yeah. it's the same. The same principles. The principles, it's the same principles no, there. No, no, you see what I'm saying? No, but it's important. So my thing is, I'd hate for him to walk away thinking, "Raw, I'm on a gin or thing." Just what I'm saying. I'll just say, "Raw, this, I, this is, this is me, fam." So if I, if I, if you thought I offended you. I apologise for the offence that you felt I caused to you. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And more times now, if someone asks me my opinion about your fighter, I ain't going to say none. Because it, no, they, no, 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 because, no, it, no. because if I would, no, that's what I'll say. In no, a phone conversation, not, bro, that's what to I'll me. say to I know, my I, know, man. I hear but that, but this is what I'm saying. KG, KG, let me say this, yeah? This is what I'm saying to you is this. It's, like I said before, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But it's the me though. But that's what I'm saying. So no, I don't but even change. Me. But you say like, it's but me. I don't even change. You this don't even is change. me. Like so, this is. So do you talk like that to your missus? I talk like this. Everyone missus? knows me, fam. No, you talk, you you talk them. I talk like, like this all day. Any, well, ask anyone that knows me, this is. Bro, me. we just made love less wicked, fam. Do you know you talk to your missus? I prom. No, 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 no. Call my missus right now. As you, anyone. It's a lot of years. My dad. Everyone. You know what? Everyone. I swear, that was serious. I said you. Yeah, they never Everyone, your head and properly. they say, no, because they said, because I was always me. I was always KG. Like, so in their head, they're like, he says, I say stuff to aunties that no one can believe I've said. Okay. It's because, but then it's, if you even watch me, you saw me do stand up. I was, I performed Big Nasty Show yesterday. You know me, flagrant. I'm out here doing a madness because it's me. I'm just going to, I'll honestly be me. I, something comes in my head and I say, say it. That's how it works. <laughs> Pull the trigger. Say it. 
my mind was like that. So you say how you work, and you go to call it. As soon as I think something, say it, and I have to fight myself. So even all day, I say, don't say anything. Chill. <laughs> I tell myself sometimes, or my wife will be like, <laughs> she tap the leg. <laughs> don't do it. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is this is me. I, I'm me. That, that, this, that's the honest truth. The truth, like the convo, this that's convo the today, truth. and the things you like, especially how, how it started, it's been insightful, and then further deepening, digging deep into your story and the relationships, like the Danny Williams situation and how deep that went, and just certain code. things. And we're understanding the code. He has a code that you're explaining. It's clear. Do you know what I mean? And where we've we've stepped into this world, and you're now telling us stuff. It's like okay, it's insightful. And I'm learning to, that to hear. So like that's I'm, the energy. Like like I'm saying, man, props like to the undefeated. And that's on the rules. And the reason why I'm saying props because I'm seeing what you guys are doing. So mm -hmm. I'm seeing guys trying to go out and do what they're doing and everything else. Yeah, you know I mean, so props anyone who's out there doing their podcast. But I'm saying if you are really want to do a boxing podcast, then um, my thing to you guys is go study history. You cool. know what I mean? Because I'm cause, that cause, cause, trust me, and you don't know, see like before I could like take offense, like you're seeing these young youths come into this thing and da 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 and all the rest of it. And I'm saying, well, what do you know? But I'm saying like most of these young youths, they bow to me. And that's not me being cocky, but they do bow to me. So when I see like um Uma, right? Mm, we didn't get right? there still. We didn't get to Uma. Right? Uma. Right, no, no, we could get to him quickly because you yeah, yeah, yeah. know yeah. it's been yeah. you guys you, I know you can edit and chop up things to make this into our show, right? Oh no, but no, could, we're gonna let this, this run. is omnibus. Right? <laughs> this is EastEnders on a Sunday. Yeah, right? This is this is the so, long one. I'm just being real. Nah. Um, who was you it? Had a, you, and I, you and Umar had yeah. a little... Well, no, no, well not you, Tunde. 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 My bad, my bad. Tunde, Tunde. Tunde. Yeah. fired that block by... But it wasn't, but, no, no, no. <laughs> but you, you have to understand. When Tunde's, like, let me tell you, Tunde's a very, very good reader of people, you know. Mm. A very good reader of energies. And if you're saying, Ra, that one's a... Nah, that guy there. Nah, that one there. So what I'm trying to say is this. Um... MTK Global um, sponsor IFL. IFL. Mm. MTK Global. No, 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 I'm just being real, yeah? See, MTK Global. Mm. They're, the, they're the truth. Now, if I see any fighter, respect to their skin tone, the, 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 you know what I mean, or, 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 or their gender, I'm saying, if you want to get look after, go to them. So, Coogan, for his hard work, got the hook up with MTK Global, right? Shout out, Coogs. Um, no, shout out, Coogs, because he's my guy. They're blown, right? Yeah, and they're blown. And it, and it, when I'm saying it could happen to a nicer person, because it could because Coogan's my guy from a long time. He's my guy, mm -hmm. right? I told you, he gave me the knowledge, right? So you're bringing other youths in who are boxing fanatics. You know what I mean? Um, Umar is a boxing fanatic. Yeah, we met him in Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's still a little baby. He's a pup, mm -hmm. right? Now you have to realize, like, there's on certain things where on like on terminologies. Right, we started our podcast, me and Tundi, right? And by the way, when I when I when I when I knew like right, my contract wasn't getting renewed at Sky. So many top name podcasts were begging me to come on their thing. Like, right, you're not on there, oh right, you're no, no, no. come loads of them. Right, they all know who they are. I mean, so they can't deny it because you know what? I got all the messages on my phone, I can show you right now, right? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna do my own thing. Tundi Ajay. Says so Spence, you know what? I weren't ready to come sit beside you with boxing because you are the guy that brought me into boxing. So you know what? But now, with everything that's going on, yeah, I, mean, I think it'd be cool if we just go do our own thing. What do you think? So you see, he's set up really well. He's got a born producer who makes he makes the, the um, so big up Gary Blake because he makes um, so adverts. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it makes nice, and that is filmed in Tundi's house. Mm -hmm. Right, I want you to know, and by his coffee bar. Yeah, I mean he's got a boom place. You know what I mean, so yeah, come. I was like, all right, cool. So we started the thing. Now, it's a simple thing. Um, in 1980, right, Marvin Hagler comes over here to fight Alan Minter, Minter yeah. for the world title, right? Tony said, while he was there, we're on, we're on show, we're just filming one shoot. He's like, oh, um, yeah, was that fight Royal Lab at all? Right? But it kind of, kind of just went over my head. So I'm like, so I'm talking about the fight. So then Uma, and the fight was actually at Wembley Arena. Right, I remember because it was disgraceful how Marvin Hagler was treated. That's when them them little racist man start throwing bottles at him and the 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 Alaminta infamously said, "I ain't never losing my title to no black man." Right, so you're talking about this. So we're talking about this, and my mind's just thinking about the fight. I'm talking about the fight. Anyway, done. Tweet out. So we put out a show. 
Now, the first thing, now, Umar's always running down Tundi for interviews and this. I want to talk to Annie Yard, I want to talk to Bilal, because Tundi's got his little stabler guys yeah. coming, no, little, he's, he's getting, getting, very, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. very big now, right? He's stamina for sales, stamina, uh, right? Before you say Ra, because everyone said Ra, the show was wicked, man. Everybody was saying it. You know what I mean? He's coming, sick. he's trying to correct a big man. I'm saying, bruv. You know what I mean? Like, no, boys. It was so, like, now, nah, even though I could have taken it in just because I know Uma. And, like, I know Uma pretty well. Like, uh, meaning speak regularly. But Tony don't take it. Like, Tony's like, no, this little disrespectful you about you're trying to correct big man. Before you come rate my thing, you're running. You know what I mean? And I, I'm agreeing with that. But I'm saying, like, too much people, like, is that trying to get one over on man too much now. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So it's like, bro, know your place. But then... I think Tundi saw him recently and he was going on like, because Tundi kind of hot him up now, he said, no, nah, instant block. And everyone's, no, nah, you're this, no, nah, no, nah, nah, nah. right? And listen, I'm not into this social media age of trying to banter and all the rest of it because that goes on this thing. And you guys will soon, because your thing's going to grow. After today, I guarantee you're getting thousands of views. You know what I mean? Oh, I guarantee oh, 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 oh. on your YouTube, on your YouTube thing, I guarantee you that you'll get more views than your Lennox News video. Jeez. Remember, I'm telling you this now. 4,000. Huh? Or a thousand. What? How much? Or a thousand each. How much you get? <laughs> okay. Bro, 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 bro. Or a thousand each. Bro, bro, you know bro, 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 I don't know what to watch. No, because I don't well, even know what I need to get to. No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This way, this way. You're trying to move. It doesn't move the same way, fam. I'll tell you what. Well, it doesn't. This watch, this watch, this watch will be a budget for your house. It's on camera. I'm on camera. I'll tell you what. I've seen that. I'm on camera. I'll tell you what. Me. Right. I'm Travis Jane, fam. Right. So, here what? I what? I guarantee. I will right. not. I will not. Right. I'll fight you for it. I'm doing a, I'm doing a 750 thing that he did, bro. I take the thousand or 750. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 70, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so I'm so I'm saying off of that now. I'm saying right, Uma, know your space. But then Uma used to do some work with um uh what's his name, Kojo from Raps on TV. Right. Okay. So shout out to Kojo, right? right? So he used to do. But like, what I've noticed is like certain people get into a position to look down on other people. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Okay. So. Or they think they've reached certain places. So that's why I'm saying, like, earlier, I'm saying, like, bro, you, certain man can't chat to me when it comes to boxing. Mm -hmm. Reason why? Because I'm I'm talking with greats and talking with past greats, and they're all in my phone, and them, them man are talking to me, and we debate boxing. And I'm saying, rah. You know what I mean? The, one of the biggest men who I debate with is Lennox, who you got signed on there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When I'm in the studio, with your ear, he's phoning me. You know what I mean? Mm. So, and I know it's like, he's most probably getting some questions asked to him now. He's saying, well, I suppose, what do you think about this thing here? You know what I mean? Oh, and he just put his, his Lennox loose reggae reggae sauce on it and twist it up to his own style. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? But they all do it. Him, Barry McGuire, I go through all of them, man. Johnny Nelson, all of these guys do it, right? Oh. So, when Umar's coming with them kind of things, they say, right, disrespect. But what I noticed about Tundi is this, you know, don't call his name or don't try to run up, don't go on like it too big because, because Tundi's a powerful individual. Mm. I'm just telling you that now. So when I see Umar come with that and then people are dragging out the things that he said in the past, it's not that far, that far back. Yeah, yeah. All right? A couple but, of years. Right, but what I've noticed about this here, and I'm just keeping it 100, them same men who are dragging it out on him, they'll try to drag out things on, on and it, they drag out things on, on people who don't look like them. Period. I'm telling you this now. Right? So you're going to know the higher that you climb when you're going to start getting the criticisms and da, 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 and all the rest of it. But right, but what he turned around and said, I said, don't go on like you're too big. I'm not too big for anyone. Anyone, listen, I reach out to anybody. Anyone reach out to me, I'm, I'm showing you love, you know, that's how it goes. You know what I mean? So them man, how, how they rolled, this is going to be a, a valid lesson to him. And how he bounces back from this is going to be a big thing because I, I saw the statement. As I was here, I was I just, reading the I statement. Read well. Yeah, mm. so I saw the statement. And it is them kind of things because... It was the disrespect to Tyson Fury. Now, yes, you know you can't... Listen, Tyson Fury is a very emotional person. Yeah. You can't say you're in Vegas now to say you want to go be around Tyson Fury and talk to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury going to say, bun you, come out my way. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say What's to you? The, the hardest part about it is, like, you see what happened with O'Hara Davis when he, like, would live up... Just even he didn't even know what was going he on. Didn't no, even no, even no, know. Let no, me gonna, just correct you no, on wait, that. No, wait, let me... Wait, preface, Bro, I'm, I'm just I'm saying... I'm speaking to man yeah. that was his agent at that time, yeah? Charlie yeah. Sim said O'Hara Davis knew what he was doing at that time. Oh. Right? So when I'm hearing this, I'm giving you an inside thing. He said he knew what he was doing. Right? But I don't think he knew to... to what to, level? Ex yeah, to the extremes yeah. of what this whole thing was about. And because I was I, I was, I yeah. was, there when that happened. That was 89, right? Yeah. I, w I remember that because I was delivering newspapers in time. I remember seeing the disaster of the Hillsborough tragedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know 
You know what I mean? So, but Ahara Davis knew. So, and but that's that. Umar, but I'm not banning a fire up. on Ahara Davis now because no, I'm pointing out for his foolishness, there right? You go. I'm just saying. But, but for knew. Umar, like, to have so many, like, it was mentioned a few times in yeah. his, in the tweets. Yeah. yeah that, and Liverpool just have such a, they got a lot of fight fans just there. That, that, that well, who just, said about Liverpool thing? He said, he Umar said, said some, Umar as well? Yeah. He didn't tweets. see the tweets. Well, well then, you see what I'm trying to say? He said, he said, listen, listen. Actually, I'm not even saying. Right. All I'm telling you is this. Let me tell you this. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you this now, yeah? Mm. Oh, for that, you're done. You know I mean? You, you know I mean? You're done. You're finished. It's like Unless four that. times. It's four no, 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 no. You know what? Three strikes these four times. You're definitely done. Come on, man. Yeah, it's not still. You know what I mean? You're striking now, but no one ain't pitching no ball at you. You're done. You're done. Because And and, and let this be a lesson to 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 these little young boys, yeah? <laughs> like my uncle still. No, I'm being real. <laughs> right? Let this be a lesson to you little young kids, right? Who you get in position and you think, say, like, your position... You never asked for the permission for the position. You got it, but you didn't ask for it. You get what I'm trying to say to you? So when you get it, you don't know what to do with it. But you see when you got a graph like these, man, I see you like, you're grafting on this thing. And I see all, you, all your guys around. When you graph for it, you know what I mean? It's your work that you're, 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 you're building on something. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. But certain man gets it and it, it happens to them too quick. Because memories are so you. Right, I don't dislike Uma, you know? I would send him something of encouragement right now. But I'm telling you this now. He was in, he was in, where was he? He was in America the other day and Coogan FaceTimed us when we was out there. Me and Tony was in the studio and Uma was there and he felt a bit embarrassed because it's me as well, but he felt a bit embarrassed because he didn't want to say nothing to, um, to Tundi because I was in Tundi's yard, right? And I'm saying, this is what I'm trying to say to you. You're not too big to say sorry. If I offend anybody, you know what? I'm that guy who say, you know what? I'm sorry. And I say sorry because I mean it. I'm saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm not saying it on a, on a uh, uh, from a standpoint of being disingenuous. Mm. So I'm not looking at what happened to Uma. I'm saying this is how it goes. They'll, this is how it goes. They will come for you. But you see, when you design your own thing or you build your own thing, no one can't tell you not to come in or all the rest mm. of it. So like what you guys are doing, you're building your own thing. Carry on doing your thing. But Uma, psh, boy, you know what I mean? As they say well, in Jamaica, your free papers burnt to a cinder. Bro. There's no comeback from this. On that. Listen, we Spencer. This, is this been, episode uh, is been the <laughs> this episode, but I'm happy it happened. Yeah. Literally, well, um, big round of applause to you and thank you for no, coming thank, and blessing thank you us very much, man. Here, man. I'll be, There's I'll a be lot back. of gems. Yeah, a yeah, lot I'll, of gems. Be back. I'll be back. I'll be back next time and to do your test of knowledge is knowledge, man. Nah, but, nah, 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 nah. I'll be real. I'll be real because you know I should have done it now because I know these little idiot satans now. We say, yeah, because he's a fraud. He doesn't really know. He's a he's a fraud. I guess a lot, you know. He's a fraud, and I know for a fact. If I look like them same ones who are calling me a fraud, I wouldn't be getting that. I'd be saying, he's the greatest thing. Oh my God, he's so fantastic. Oh, I love him the bits. Oh. I'm just real. I'm never listening to Let me just tell you this, man. Can you shout out my brother, though? Because he yeah, yeah, was yeah, like, listen, just listen, shout out to Joshua. Because yeah, he's listening. Everybody, everybody, listening to a massive, massive mm. shout out to Joshua. You're the guy. You know but, why you're the guy? No, there's no buts. Because <laughs> Josh, you know what I mean? You know what your name means? Joshua. You know what Joshua means? It's in the Bible still. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to yeah. teach Bible school, but yeah, right, it's right, right, still. Yeah, right, I, cool. I ain't been back in a yeah, minute. Me, still backsliding. But but Joshua, the name Joshua means um, he who has God's grace or God's favor, oh. right? So I so I know so I know that you are a special human being. Mm. Keep digging and keep pushing forward. And let me tell you this: when you put God first, you can never come second. I'm living, walking, breathing proof of that. Yeah, you know I mean, trust me. Jeez. That's Spencer Fero, boy. Hey! <laughs> Special episode. Undefeated. I'll defeat him. I'm jabbing, jabbing. I'm dodging, weaving. I'll uppercut him. I'll leave him bleeding. He's cut, man's got to go hard this evening. Tenth round, I can hear man breathing. But my fitness comes like a terminal sickness. It can't leave me. I train like I'm addicted. All this pain I've inflicted. Rip shot, leave a man winded. Take a knee. Ten eight round, that's me. Championship round, I'm sweet. Flock like a butterfly, sting like bee. Your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. W B O W B C. Give me all of the belts, put them all on me. Give me all of the belts, put them all on me. Undefeated. Undefeated, undefeated.